going up there for the audio. Like, I don't know. It's working now. And welcome to the uh, Lindsey Wilson versus Brian varsity baseball game. I apologize. We've had some technical issues. We thought we were live with audio, and we had some issues, and it wasn't coming through. So I'll have to catch everybody up on what's going on so far. And real quick, foul ball over to the left side. So we have Sam Gage up to bat. He's the second baseman for Lindsey Wilson. Um, second batter of the game, the first batter, Matthew Schultz, was hit by pitch in a 1-2 count earlier, and then he stole second and subsequently got third base as well. So he's over at third. We've got one out. I apologize. And one behind. It is Chance Staten who's at the plate, the right fielder. And he was nearly hit by pitch just now. A 1-1 one, one count for him. Yeah, Sam Gage actually grounded out to move um, Matthew Schultz over to third from second base. And now we have Chance Staten up to bat with one out and a man at third. Um, now we've caught that up. The lineups we have today after this pitch. Foul ball over to the right side, out of play. Okay, we had Matthew Schultz as a leadoff batter. He was a starting shortstop for Lindsey Lindsay Wilson. Sam Gage, the second baseman, was second. Chance Staten, the right fielder, is currently batting third in the lineup. Kobe Wall will be next, the left fielder. Batting fifth will be Jonathan Barham, the third baseman. Batting sixth will be Jaden Cockerell, the catcher. Batting seventh will be Andres Durham, the DH. Batting eighth will be Bryce Sidler, the first baseman. Batting ninth will be Nazir Bergen, the center fielder. And the pitcher for Lindsey Wilson will be Mitchell Buchanan. On the mound for Brian, we've got Landon Lee, the freshman pitcher, making his first start of the season, just his third appearances in college overall, and his first start as a college pitcher. And now we've got a 2-2 count on Chance Staten. And here's the pitch. Called strike three on the outside corner, and he rung him up. That'd be out number two. So far, Landon's been very good with his uh, getting ahead in the account, throwing strikes early. His first account, he got to 0-2 and then 1-2 and then hit the uh, leadoff batter in the head. So mistake pitch right there. But he's been getting ahead of all the counts and uh, making the batters either make contact or just now he got the strikeout. Called ball in the outside corner. We have Kobe Wall up to bat right now, the left fielder. It's a 1 0 pitch. Swing and foul tip back, 1 1. And here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Ball outside. 2-1. Got Matthew Schultz over on third base on the base pad. Two outs. Big swing and a miss for strike two. 2-2 two, two count now. Hard line drive, well foul. 10 feet past the fence. Still a 2-2 two -two count. He was way ahead of that one. Uh, 
And a great off-speed pitch coming back across the plate. And that'll be strike three. That is three outs in the first inning. And we will be back in the bottom of the first with the Brian lineup on the Brian Lions Radio Network. And welcome back. Pitcher's just about done getting warmed up. And we'll go through the Bryan lineup now. Our leadoff batter, we've got Tyler Cole in the second baseman. Batting second, we've got Bryson Lofton, the third baseman, also known as Bobo. Batting third, we've got Daniels right in the center fielder. Batting fourth, we have Darwin Gregg, the DH. Batting fifth, we have Devin Ogg, first base. Batting sixth, we have Cade Cook, the right fielder. Batting seventh, we have Owen Naparowski at catcher. Batting eighth, we have Danny Marquez, the shortstop. And batting ninth, we've got Bradley Prince over at left field. On the mound for Lindsey Wilson, we have Mitchell Buchanan. First pitch, off speed called strike on the outside corner. It's going to be 0-1. Another called strike for strike two. O2 count for Tyler. Here's the pitch. Swing, grounder right up the middle. Fielded cleanly by the pitcher, and that'll be out number one. Up next, we have Bryson Lofton. Last year, Bryson was a second team All-American, and he led the team in home runs. This year, he said he's looking to make first team All-American. And here's the first pitch. Ball outside. Oh, nope, called strike on the outside corner. 0-1. Lofton didn't offer at it. Pitcher's moving pretty quickly. Here's the next pitch. Foul tip over the left side. 0-2 oh count. A swing and a miss. Strike three. Two outs. Got Daniel Dryden up to bat. He's the center fielder today. First pitch, ball outside.
Hard hit ball left side, way up there, but also foul. He went the distance, but he couldn't keep it fair. That would have been a great first at bat for Dryden of the day. He just missed that one. 1-1 one, one count. Hope after that Dryden can lock it back in. It's pretty common when you had a foul home run, you're geared up and you're ready to swing. Called strike on the inside corner. 1-2 count. Dryden now has to make contact with anything in the zone. And here's the pitch. Hard contact on the left side. Left fielder over. Does not get it. Ball bounces weirdly, and Dryden's safe at first. We got two outs, man at first. And Darwin Gregg, the DH, up to bat. So far, Darwin's got five home runs on the season. Let's hope he can get another one right here. He hit four of those home runs in one weekend series a couple weeks ago, the last time we were at home. Here's the pitch. Ball way outside in the dirt. Catcher keeps it in control, and Dryden stays at first. Pitcher picks it first, not in time. As a center fielder, Dryden certainly a speed threat over at first. Here comes the pitch. Down in the dirt inside, ball two. Next pitch, swing and a miss. Off speed that hit the dirt. That'll be a 2 1 count. Darwin gets a reset. Pitcher looking at first. Here's the pitch. Hard foul ball, right side. 2 2 count. Hard contact left side, scooped up by the third baseman, bobbled, throw to first, plenty of time. That'll be out number three. That's it for the first inning. Oh, third baseman's on the ground. That's some kind of ankle problem right there. But that will be it for the first inning. We'll be back in the top of the second with Lindsey Wilson batting on the Brian Lyons Radio Network.
Welcome back. Top of the second inning. We've got Lindsey Wilson up to bat. Leading off for them this inning is going to be Jonathan Barham. He is the third baseman for Lindsey Wilson. Back on the mound is Landon Lee. He had a very efficient first inning. Well, he threw a few extra pitches. 22 pitches, two strikeouts, no walks, one hit. Actually, no hits, excuse me. That was a hit by pitch for his one base runner of the inning. We have a pinch hitter. This is actually Jackson Steele up to bat in for Barham. And first pitch is a called strike on the outside corner. Actually, this is not a pinch hitter. It looks like a full replacement for Barham, who may have been injured over at third base in the last play of the inning in the first. He's got a 1-1 one -one count. There's a called ball. Swing and a miss, strike two. One, two count. Swing and a miss, strike three, dropped third strike, catcher throw to first, no problem. It's going to be out number one of the inning, third strike out of the game for Landon Lee, freshman of his first start, his college career. First pitch called strike, 0-1 oh, count. We have Jaden Cockerell. He is the starting catcher for Lindsey Wilson. Next pitch called strike, 0-2 oh, count, also on the outside corner. Landon Lee is painting corners right now. He's looking really good, finding his spots. Ahead in the count once again. I think he's been ahead in every count so far. And here's the 0-2 pitch. Foul ball right side. Off the net, 0-2 once again. Landon gets his sign, and here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ground over to left side, fielded cleanly by the shortstop, throw to first, plenty of time. That is out number two. Line well, making quick word of quick work of once another at bat. And up to bat next, we have Andres Duran, the DH for Lindsey Wilson. First pitch, foul ball, well out of play. So be no one count. Here's the pitch. Hard hit ball to the right side. That ball's trouble, and it's gone. It was a solo home run. For Andres Duran. Got to make it 1 0, Lindsey Wilson.
umpire's meeting over on the right side, discussing something, not sure what. Umpires finish their discussion, heading back to their spots. Up to bat next, we have number 21, Bryce Sidler, the first baseman. Landon threw over to first base, and the umpire called safe. I'm wondering if there was a question on whether the home run, when he ran the bases, he touched first or not. Whatever it is, it's been resolved. And the next pitch is a ball outside, 1-0 count. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Called strike on the outside corner, 1 1. Next pitch called strike, 1 2 count. Landon ahead and wants another account. And he gets his sign. Here comes the one two pitch. Way outside. It counts even two two. Comes the 2-2 pitch. Does an offer at it. Ball in the dirt. That'll be 3-2. Full count. Full count pitch. In the dirt. That'll be Landon's first walk of the game. Up to bat next, we have number 22, Nazir Bergen, the center fielder for Lindsey Wilson. Got two outs, runner on first. And here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss. Ball in the outside corner. 0-1 count. Ball in the dirt. Kick back to first. Not in time. 1-1 count. Pick off by Landon first. 
Ball dropped by Devin Ogg. Now he's safe again. Next pitch called ball inside. 2-1 count. Here comes the 2-1 pitch. Pop fly over the left side, out of play. There's a truck in the path of the ball. Just missed the truck on the road. A big ooh from the crowd when they saw how close it was. That'll make it a 2-2 count on that foul ball. Pick it first. Not in time. Big swing and a miss. Strike three, and that is three outs. That is Landon's first fourth strikeout of the game. So far, there was one hit, an earned run on a solo shot by Lindsey Wilson, and it's going to be one nothing going to the bottom of the second inning on the Brian Lyons Radio Network. Welcome back. Leading off this inning for the Lions, we've got Devin Ogg, followed by Cade Cook and Owen Naparowski. Devin steps into the box. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Next pitch called ball. Called strike on the inside half, one, two count. Foul tip caught by the catcher, and that'll be the first out of the inning. And another strikeout for Buchanan. First pitch ball in the dirt. Big fly ball left side. That ball's way foul and way gone. It was up the second hill over the road, but unfortunately it was foul ball. So Cade Cook. And here's the next pitch. Big swing and a miss for strike two, one-two count. 
Cade hit a huge game tying home run a couple weeks ago in the ninth inning. Actually, excuse me, it was the 10th inning. That'll be strike three. That home run by Cade was the second game tying home run in two innings to take us in the extras. Up to bat now, we have Owen Naparowski, the starting catcher for the Lions. First pitch called strike on the outside. Grounder up the middle, just past second base, and that'll be a single for Owen. And as the catcher, Owen will have a courtesy runner at first. Not confirmed yet, but that looks like Alex Rollins. Usual pinch runner and courtesy runner for the Lions. Up to bat, we have Bradley Prince, the left fielder for the Lions. Pick over to first, not in time. Another pick at first, called safe. That is Alex Rollins over at first. Resident speed stir for the Lions. Another pickoff. Not in time. Here comes the pitch. Fly ball over to the right side, well hit, but foul. That'll make it an 0-1 count. Runner to second. And he is thrown out at second base. That'll be the third out of the inning. We got one hit, no runs, one left on base. Actually, not left on base because he was picked off, but that will be it for the bottom of the second inning. We'll be back at the top of the third with Lindsey Wilson batting on the Brian Lyons Radio Network.
welcome back. It's top of the second inning. Lindsey Wilson leads one nothing with their one solo shot home run in the top of the second inning. Leading off this inning, we have Matthew Schultz. He was a leadoff batter in the first inning, having a second go around, and here comes the pitch. Called strike. 0-1. Next pitch, another called strike, 0-2 count. So far, both pitchers today have been really good about staying in the zone. And here comes the 0-2 pitch. Foul ball. Got a ground over to the left side, fielded by the shortstop, throw to first, plenty of time. That is the first out of the inning. Yeah, we should have field sound now. First pitch called ball on the outside. Up to bat now we have Matthew, excuse me, Matthew Schultz just batted. We have Sam Gage, the second baseman for Lindsey Wilson. one -oh count. And here's the pitch from Lee. Big swing and a miss on an off speed. It'll be strike one. Here comes the 1-1 one, one pitch. Grounder over to the right side. Fielded on one hop. Throw to first. And that is out number two. Hard ground ball between the third base and shortstop, and that'll be a single. That is Chance Staten, who just who was up to bat. Before that, he was 0 for 1 with the strikeout. Got his first hit of the game just now. He got the hit so quickly, I didn't have time to introduce him. Now we have Kobe Wall up to bat, the left fielder. He is also 0 for 1 on the day with a strikeout so far. First pitch, foul ball. Foul tip straight back. one count, runner at first, two outs. Ball just above the zone, one one count. Looked like Landon really tried to pump one in there. Didn't get the call. Pick off to first, not in time. Yeah. 
still a 1-1 count on Kobe Wall. And here's the pitch. Ball outside. 2-1 count. Ball in the dirt. 3-1 count. And we'll have to be careful right here. 3-1 count. The dangerous count is the pitcher. As a batter, you're sitting dead red looking for something you can hit hard. Here's the pitch. Ball outside. Ball four. Got two runners on now. Still two outs, and up to bat we have Jonathan Barham, the third baseman. First pitch, call strike on the outside corner. For Jackson Steele. Jackson Steele is over one with a strikeout on the day. 0 1 count. Runners going. Ground ball over the left side. Not able to get to it. Runners coming home. Dayton scores. Wall stays at second. And that'll be a single for Jackson Steele. 2 0 Lindsey Wilson.
I apologize. We had some technical issues. Equipment decided to shut down on us, and it shut down the stream. Uh, we're back. The last inning ended with just a ground out and a force play over to first. And now we're at the bottom of the third and a pickoff over to first. Bottom of the third, we've got one out, and that was on uh, Danny Marquez strikeout. And Bradley Prince walked just now. He's over at first base. And up to bat, we have the top of the order. We have Tyler Colon. And then 0-0 count. First pitch, ball up. 1-0 count. Another pickoff, not in time. Tyler looking for his first hit of the day. That would be a called strike on the outside, 1-1 one, one count. Wasn't the pitch he was looking for, didn't offer at it. Next pitch, ball up and in, 2-1 count. Tyler being very patient at the plate so far. He's ahead 2-1 now. He's going to look for something he can hit hard or just leave it be. Pitcher gets set. Here comes the pitch. Off speed, coming back across the plate, 2-2 two -two count. Now he'll have to protect the plate. Foul tip back, still 2-2. Two -two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Got two outs now. Up to bat, we have Bryson Lofton, the third baseman for the Lions. First pitch called strike on the outside corner. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. O2 count. Here's the pitch. Outside, ball one. One two count. Lofton was named the AAC player of the week last week. He had a great away series. And here's the one two pitch. Grounder over to the right side. Pitcher waiting on it. Picked up by him. Toss to the pitcher, and that'll be out number three. Excuse me, it was the first baseman waiting on it. Toss to the pitcher. And that's it for the bottom of the third inning. Line score, Lindsey Wilson has two runs on three hits, no errors. The Lions have no runs on two hits, also no errors. And we'll be back in the top of the fourth inning with Lindsey Wilson up to bat on the Brian Lions radio network.
And we're back in the top of the fourth inning. Got to change some things on the technology that we're using. Uh, Landon Lee's back on the mound. He's an 0-1 count. Pop fly over to the left side. At his back is deep. Left fielder shading his eyes, and he makes the catch at the warning track for out number one. That was a great play by Bradley Prince over there. The uh, sun over on this field, on center field, is really brutal in left field. Sunlight's just peeking over the mountaintop where the school is, and it's just in the left fielder's eyes over there. So he has to shade himself really well to be able to see the ball. Got a hard hit grounder through the left side, and that'll be a single. That was Bryce Sidler who just had who just got his first hit of the game. Before him was Andres Duran that hit that pop fly. He had the home run earlier in the game. Up to bat now we have Nazir Bergen. He's over one with a strikeout so far. First pitch, ball in the dirt, 1-0 count. Got a runner on first and one out. Kick over to first, not in time. Landon peeks over at first and gets set. Here comes the 1-0 pitch. Ball inside. 2-0. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Outside again, 3-0 count. First time all game, Landon's been this far behind in a count. So far, he's been really efficient, staying ahead of most counts. He's got a couple walks so far in three and a third innings, four strikeouts. And here comes the 3-0 pitch, excuse me, and that is ball four. That'd be his third walk of the game. Runners on first and second now with one out. Lennon checks the runner at second. This is Matthew Schultz at the plate. And he goes for a bunt. Lennon runs forward, picks it up, throws the first, and that is not in time. We have bases loaded, one out. An unfortunately, well-placed bunt for Schultz. And Lennon wasn't able to get to it in time. Up to bat, we have Sam Gage. He's 0 for 2 on the day. The second baseman for Lindsey Wilson. First pitch, ground over to the right side, picked up by Landon. Toss it to first. That is going to be two outs. He's going to allow a run to score there. To make it 3 0, Lindsey Wilson. He took the force play, so now we have second and third, two outs. We have Chance Staten, the right fielder, up to bat. Hey. 
Landon turns over, fakes the throw to second. No one holding him on. And here comes the pitch. Hard grounder over to the left side. Not Bobo not able to get to it. One runner will score. Other one will stop at third. And Staten will stop at first base with his first hit of the day. There's another hard hit over to that side of the field. 4-0 now for Lindsey Wilson. Naparowski makes his call for the first and third situation that's going on. Letting the infield know what the plan is. And Landon gets set on the mound. First pitch called strike on the outside corner. A well-placed pitch by Landon. That is 0-1. We have Kobe Wall up to bat. He's 0 for 1 with a strikeout so far on the day. And here comes the 0 1 pitch. Runner's going from first. Fake throw by Owen. And runner stops halfway. It's a called ball, 1 1 count. Owen faked the throw, thinking the runner would make it to the base first, and when he slowed down, he might have had a chance at the throw, but regardless, it's now first, or excuse me, it is now second and third with two outs, 1-1 one, one count. Here comes the pitch. Called strike on the outside, 1-2 count. Here comes the 1-2 pitch, way inside. Oh, and Owen appears to have been hit. He's down on the ground, that's not good. Head coach coming over to talk to him. Looks like we have a call for catcher interference. It appears the bat may have hit Owen on the arm, which is why he went down. So that will load the bases. I'll put Kobe Wall on first. That'll load the bases with two outs. After a quick meeting for the umpires, looks like we are ready to play ball once again.
After Kobe Wall, we have Jackson Steele up to bat for his third time around on the plate. He is one for two with a strikeout and an RBI on the day. Landon gets set, and here comes the pitch. Hard hit, grounded left side, through once again. One run scores, runners coming home from third, throw to home. And he got him! Great throw by the left fielder, Bradley Prince, and that will be the third out of the inning. One run scored, the second one wasn't in time. We got the throw down. That will finish it for the top of the fourth inning. The Lions score, Lindsey Wilson, five runs on seven hits, no errors. The Lions, no hit runs on two hits and no errors, and we will be back in the bottom of the fourth inning with the Lions up to bat on the Brian Lions Radio Network. And we are back at the bottom of the fourth inning, coming back a little bit early. Uh, I want to introduce you to my now co-host. We've got Hunter Rao on the mic with me. How are you doing, Hunter? I'm pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing well. I don't think I introduced myself earlier, actually, funnily enough. Uh, my name is Avery Buffington. Um, I was the voice the last time we had home games, um, and I'll be doing this more often than not for baseball. Uh, we have a couple of other guys who will be in and out. Um, you'll have heard Drew. He's the regular voice. He does basketball, and he'll be doing softball as well as others. Uh, but for me, for now, it is me, and we got Hunter on the mic for the first time. I know, excited for my first time. I think this will be quite enjoyable. It'll be fun. We're both baseball players here at Bryan. Um, unfortunately, not on varsity. We're working towards it. Yeah, we're trying to get there. Uh, but yeah, we just love the game. We're here to do this. Uh, we got Daniel Dryden leading off this inning. He is one for one of the day. Um, unfortunately, one of the well, not unfortunately, he's fortunately one of the few productive hitters. And that is a pop fly for an 0-1 count. We're hoping the less, rest of the lineup will be filling in doing the same thing it's been a pretty quiet day not the normal lineup we're used to no not at all he just missed one earlier i don't you didn't get to see it um dryden absolutely crushed a baseball down the uh, left field line he hit it over the second hill um way down there but it was foul wow he just missed one and the next pitch that'll be in for a called strike two Dryden does not appear to appreciate that. Yeah, call. he did not like that one at all. He didn't like it, no. He's thinking a little bit otherwise on that one. That was an 0 2 count. He's really got to protect the zone here. And 
We actually have a new pitcher. Oh, and we got a pop fly over the right side. That might be out and foul. Yeah, it's heading foul. 0-2 count once again. We've actually got Gannon Herring on the mound. Um, he started the inning. He is in for Mitchell Buchanan. Actually, it appears I may have made a mistake before when we had those technolo technological issues. Um, Cohen Aiken actually pitched the last inning. Um, so I apologize. That's on me. That's a big mistake I shouldn't have made. And then we have Gannon Herring in for this inning. We got a hard oh, hit ball hard over hit. the left side. It's it might get deep. out, and He's it's gone. Up. And watch out, left fielder. Th there you're it in is. the splash zone. Yes, sir. That is in the pond. That's that's a pond ball right there. We love those. There's that barrel he was looking for. That's the home run he just missed earlier. And that'll put the Bryans one run on the board. Hopefully that'll be a good momentum builder right there. Yeah. Great way to lead off an inning. And who else to follow that up but Darwin Gregg. He's got five home runs on the year so far. He hit four in the last home series we had. Four in two days and four games. He's looking to follow that up right here. So great start to the inning for the Lions. Not a great start for the new pitcher. And the first pitch will be called strike. Oh, one count. Good. And grounder over to the left side. That'll be a foul ball. Oh, two count. He's got to really protect the plate here once again. So far today, the pitchers have been pretty good about staying in the zone, getting ahead. Um, last inning was a little bit shaky for Landon, but so far even then, he's been up ahead in most of his counts. He had a pretty good overall start, uh, just the shaky top of the fourth. And we got Darwin up to bat. He's down 0-2, looking for his something he can make contact to, and that is a called ball outside. It's a close pitch to watch. Sure was. That was a good eye right there. That's one you might get yelled at for watching and the umpire calls it on you. But he's got a good eye there. One, two count. And here's the pitch. Got a foul tip. And still one, two count. Empire reiterates the count for the field. One, two. And the pitcher gets set. And here's the pitch. Doesn't off red it. Ball, two, two. That one was in the dirt, it looked like. So far, Darwin's shown a pretty, uh, what's the word, excuse me, before that. And that'll be called strike three. It's unfortunate Darwin didn't agree with the call. That'll be one out. I was about to say Darwin had a keen eye. So far, he's been pretty correct about what he was watching, but that one that one didn't go his way. I did not. That one kind of snuck up on him right there, but I don't know. He'll come back from the next at bat. Looks like it might have been a two-seamer. He got a yeah. lefty on the mound. It came back across the plate from inside. Up to bat now, we have Devin Ogg. He's over one with a strikeout in the day. First baseman for the Lions. First pitch, called strike. Devin Ogg looking to make his mark on the game. Got that big leadoff home run for Dryden. We need to follow that momentum before it dies out. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. Lefty-lefty matchup. That's definitely an advantage for the pitcher here, and that looked like some kind of sweeping slider or breaking ball going away from him. Definitely a hard matchup to meet. Next pitch, fastball outside. One-two count. What do you think? What would you call here? Hunter, Hunter's a catcher for the team. Uh, Hunter, what would you call here in the one-two count? 
We'll see. Let's see what he throws, and then I'll tell you what I'll throw. I probably got a little bit more of a breaking ball, but. Oh, we got a bouncer over the left side. It was in fair territory, and that'll be a single. Beat that one out. He beat that out. That was impressive. No, but like you were saying, I probably would have gone with a little bit of a sweeping slider out there. Make Try to bury it, chase it right there. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to see what the pitch was. My guess from that contact is he might have done that. And uh, Og just made a sneaky contact. Managed to bounce one fair. Got a single out of it. Certainly earned it. He ran sure it did. Out. And up to bat, we have Cade Cook. Cade Cook is over one other day with a strikeout. Looking for his first hit of the afternoon. With a runner on first, this could be big for him. And a pick off over to first. Bounced it. Went past the first baseman. That'll be a free base for Devin Ogg. He's he was about around second. He slowed down. We got a runner in scoring position now for the Lions. That's a big turnaround. And now a single could potentially score a run if you get it out of the infield. Also, there's no double play potential. Not in the regular sense. Got a mound meeting. Lindsey Wilson coach coming over. Probably trying to calm down his pitcher. Probably trying to ease the nerves a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah, just trying to calm down his pitcher on the mound. Quick little chat, then he's back at it. As a lefty pitcher, I'm sure he's a little frustrated. He's got the advantage with the runner on first for that pickoff move, and then he threw it in the dirt. Yeah, I mean, that's a tough one just to see all around. Lucky break for the Lions there. That's exactly what we needed right That there. is what we needed. Runner in scoring position, hit scores a run. We can get another guy on. Behind Cade, we've got Owen Naparowski, the catcher. He's a big power hitter. Could be a great follow-up if Cade gets on base. And here's the pitch. Called strike. 0-1 oh, count. So far, last three guys have all watched the first strike. I think they're waiting to see what the pitcher does here, trying to make him throw to him almost. Yeah, this is all of their second times through, so they've seen him once before. But they've been very patient, not going for the first pitch. He's been good about throwing a first pitch strike. Actually, no, they have not seen this guy. This is the second time through. The first time they've seen this pitcher. So that that would be, I guess he is, look, they're looking to see what he's offering. Mm -hmm. First two pitchers were both righties. We got a lefty on the mound, too, so that's going to be a different look. That was a foul tip, 0-2 count. No 2 pitcher gets set, looks back the runner second. And here's the pitch. Does an offer inside, ball one. Got a one-two count. One-two count, pitcher gets his sign. And here's the pitch. Hard hit ball to left side, it's a liner, it's gonna land. Left fielder running to the fence, picks it up off the warning track. We have Devin Ogg running home. Cade Cook's going to second, and he's standing at second for an RBI double. Yes, sir. That's what we needed right there. Exactly what we needed right there. A clutch hit coming in by Cade again. Now, he hit a tying home run in the bottom of the ninth inning a couple weeks ago. Did he? The last time we were at home, it was an exciting series. Um, he and Darwin both hit game-tying home runs in back-to-back -back innings. Wow. Because we, we tied the game in the bottom of the eighth. They took a one-run lead. He, Cade, tied the game again with the solo shot, and then we went to the extras. And there's another clutch hit from Cade. Now, we were joking around, me and another guy. We were saying Cade earned his starting spot when he hit that home run a couple weeks ago. And there's just another add-on to keep him there. We've got Owen Naparowski at the plate. He is one for one on the day, looking for his second hit. First pitch called ball, 1-0 count. It's the first, first, first pitch so far that has not been a strike for this pitcher. One zero count. He's looking back. Cade at second. Here's the pitch. Now this one's a called strike. Cade over on second. It's a bit of a. He's a speed threat for sure on the bases. Sure is. He's a fast guy. Him and Logan Stradley. Him and Stradley, and then Rollins. Uh, we saw earlier in the game. He pin, he courtesy ran for Owen when he got his hit earlier. 
uh, when he had a single um, oh, for that ball way outside over the catcher. Cade's going to run to set or run to third, free base on a wild pitch. That almost was trouble. It bounced straight back to the pitcher from <laughs> the, the brick backstop we have down there. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So in NAIA, uh, catchers get courtesy runners, and so Owen got on, and we had a courtesy runner, Alex Rollins. He is the essentially the resident courtesy runner slash pinch runner for the Lions. He's been here for a couple of years, and uh, but Cade Cook actually beat him uh, in speed this year. Did he now? Yeah, because Alex has been essentially the fastest guy on the team for a couple of years, but Cade actually beat him out. He's certainly a base stealing threat, and here's the pitch. Called strike two. Two two count. Got one out, runner on third. Two two count. Owen at the plate. Hit here, put us within two runs. A big hit here, put us one run down. And here's the pitch. Ball low, it looks like. And that'll make the count full. That was a good eye right there. I thought that was a little bit close. But it was really close. It looked a lot like the last pitch he looked at that was called strike two. Mm -hmm. Playing a bit of a dangerous game there, but it worked sure out Sure was, but it worked out. It certainly did. And now we have full count. Pitcher's set. Here's the payoff pitch. Ball outside. Got a runner on first. First and third, one out. And Danny Marquez up to bat. Another big power hitter for the Lions been a little slow to start this season, but he's been a staple for the last couple of years as a starter. Catcher calling signs to the infield. The first and third. I got one out runner at first, so there's double play potential here. So we certainly want to move him over. We sure do. Wouldn't matter as much if there were two outs, but we want to eliminate that. Exactly. That forced play over at second if we can. Pitcher set, looks at first. Lefty. Oh, here's the throw. Bunt popped it up to the infield. Caught by the catcher. Oh. And a quick second out there. Unfortunate for Danny. Popped up the bunt instead of getting it down. Tried to move the runner over from first. We, we saw, saw what he was trying to do there, but didn't work out so well. We saw a play go the other way. Same thing for Lindsey Wilson. They had first and third and two outs, actually, not one out. And the batter put down a bunt that Landon couldn't quite get to and loaded the bases. Ooh. It was just it was a well-placed bunt, but didn't go our way this time. Got a ball way outside for a 1-0 count on Bradley Prince. After Bradley, we'll be at the top of the order with Tyler Cohen. Prince, the left, left fielder, made a great play earlier. Uh, there was a... Hard hit ball to left field, scored one run, then he threw the next runner out at home when he tried to take an extra run. And the next pitch is a 2-0 ball. Put in the dirt in the righty batter's box. Two zero count. Probably calling a fastball here just to put one in. I'd assume so. Don't want to go down 3-0. Be even more dangerous. Gets his sign. I, wouldn't, I would imagine he might pick off the first. Nope. Here's the pitch. Called, Not a called strike. Looked like one mm, from up here. Sure did. I'm not complaining. but That's, that's a good eye right there. That was a good eye. 3-0. He might have been looking no matter what. Now we got 3-0. He might have a green light. With two outs, runners where they are. But good chance he's watching whatever this is, and he is. Called strike one. There it was. 3-1 count. Still the most dangerous count. For a pitcher where a batter can be aggressive, 3 1. Pitcher glances at first. Here's the pitch. Hard hit ground to the right side. Pit first baseman fields it cleanly. That'll be out number three. That'll be it for the bottom of the fourth inning. The Lions scored two runs on three hits, two left on base. They'll be down 5-2 to two going to the top of the fifth inning with Lindsey Wilson up to bat, and we'll be back on the Brian Lyons Radio Network.
And we are back in the top of the fifth inning with Lindsey Wilson up to bat. Their leadoff batter will be Jaden Cockerell. But before that, we've got a new pitcher on the mound, Connor Carter, a regular relief pitcher for the Lions, righty. He'll be coming in relief of Landon Lee. Landon had his first college outing earlier. Not a bad outing. He was really efficient until the fourth inning. We had a bit of a rough stretch. Still got through it. Five runs over four innings. And it's a 5-2 game. Not a blowout by any means. I would say it's not a bad first start. I wouldn't say either. Just his third outing. And the first pitch for Connor is a called ball. Looks like it was a little bit low. 1-0. And I missed it. Did he hit him? Mm-mm. Umpire's heading over the Brian Lyons dugout. Hmm. I look down, and then I hear yelling, and he's running over to first base. Uh, he's getting baseballs from the dugout. I'm sure we'll see what happened in just a second. We got a either a pinch runner or a courtesy runner on first. I was the catcher, so it's most likely a courtesy runner. Up to bat next, we have Andre Durham, the DH. He is one for two on the day, no strikeouts. Still not sure what just happened that sent him to first. And here comes the first pitch. Called ball just above the zone. Looked nice to me. 1-0 count for Andres Durham. It was a hit by pitch. I guess I just didn't see it. So I did not see that one either. I looked down, and next thing you know, he's running over the first. Pick off the first. Good move. Not in time. And we have, let me see the first name. Jake Studdeville, pinch running, or courtesy running for the catcher over at first base. And here's another pickoff. He got him. Great throw by Connor over to first. A righty pickoff move. And that'll be out number one of the inning. Very nice. Way to come back from uh, drilling the guy. Next thing you know, he's getting picked off. Very nice. Didn't give anything to hit. <laughs> Good comeback after that hit by pitch. And now he can focus on the batter at the plate. He's got a 1-0 count. And here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss. Strike one. Next pitch. Ball in the dirt. 2-1 count. It was nice and warm earlier in the sun. It's getting kind of nippy out. Not much wind, though, thankfully. Usually we got a good bit on these hills. And here's the next pitch. Ball in the dirt. Yeah, usually it's been windy the past few days, which bring, brings the temperature down a little bit. But I think today it's not too bad. The sun's nice. It's not too bad. For anybody, uh, here's the pitch before that. Swing and a miss. Strike two. The count is full. For our regular listeners, especially anybody who's listened past years, it's usually very windy during the season mm -hmm. up on the hills, especially if y'all visited, you know, we're basically on top of the mountains. So you'll typically hear wind over the mics. So, and here's the payoff pitch. Ground over to the right side through the first baseman. Second baseman gets it, tosses it to the pitcher at first, and that'll be out number two. Connor covered first base in time and a fairly routine play. Great backup by second baseman. Who we got over there? Double check. It was Tyler Colon who's over at second base. Not a regular second baseman. A uh, regular second baseman's out. I believe he's injured. Um, but it's great backup. He got behind where first base missed the grounder, and we made the play. Up to bat after Andres Durham. Oh, first pitch. Ball way outside. We have Bryce Sidler, the first baseman for Lindsey Wilson. He is one for one on the day with no strikeouts. And here's the pitch. 
Ball in the dirt. Ball number two. Almost said strike. That'd be wrong. <laughs> I want to say strike. I wish. And here's the 2-0 pitch. Way inside. Nearly hits him. 3-0. Moving quickly. And there's called strike one. 3-1 count. Most likely it's going to be a fastball. We'll see what happens. Scary count for a pitcher, and he's moving quickly. Payoff pitch. Called strike on the outside corner. Great pitch. Very good location right there. Don't want to hang those ones, put them down no. the pipe. Don't want to give him a chance to hit that ball as far as far as he could, but did a good job. And here's the payoff pitch, full count. Ball outside. Like an off speed, some kind of slider or curveball going away, and it was ball four. And I believe that is Siddler's second walk of the game. Yes, second walk of the game. And we have Nazir Bergen up. He's over one with a strikeout. First pitch called strike, 0-1 oh, count. It's wonderful to see Connor try to pick off over at first again. He's got a really good pickoff move. Here's the pitch. Called strike on the outside. That is an 0-2 oh, count. He's got a quick pickoff move, too. I feel like yeah. it has to do a lot with the location. I mean, the ball's up by the first baseman's head. Just got to bring that bat ball down the ball down to tag him. Yeah, he made great throws, very quick, and there's the throw. Right on the money. Not in time, but he's keeping them on close. He's very quick with the throw, too. Mm -hmm, very quick. Off the mound, great. He's been very accurate so far. Doesn't just lob it over there, just kind of puts a little oomph on it. Got the 0-2 count. Pick off the first again, not in time. And a drop ball by Devin Ogg. Connor checks over to first, gets set. Lances, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ball just outside, that's a great location. Just missed right there. Just missed, he wanted him to chase. He didn't have to throw him a strike. Mm -mm. Just something close enough to make him swing at it. We got a 1-2 count, still ahead. Another pick off the first. Not in time once again. Honestly, so far, I would say he's the best pickoff move to first, not a lefty. I think it's pretty good. I would argue. We've got some good lefty pickoff moves, so they've got the advantage. And here's the pitch. In the dirt, runner goes to second, bobbled by the catcher, and no throw. That burns as a catcher. That stings, doesn't it? Had a chance, but just dropped it. Yeah. But it happens. It was in the dirt regardless. Hard one to make a throw off of. We got a 2 2 count now. Runner at second, two outs, and here's the pitch. Called strike three. Look down the middle. Batter's kicking himself for watching that, and that'll be it for the top of the fifth inning. We have one runner. Overall, clean inning by Connor Very Carter. Very First inning of work. And we'll be back in the bottom of the fifth inning on the Brian Lyons Radio Network.
And we are back for the bottom of the fifth inning. Lions up to bat. We've got Tyler Cohen leading off this inning. After Tyler, we have Bryson Lofton, Daniel Dryden, Darwin Gregg. Colin 0 for 2 with a strikeout in the day. It's going to be a big bat when he's ready. Looking for his first hit. First pitch with the ball outside. 1 0 count, and here comes the next one in the dirt. Ball 2. Catcher didn't like the call. Maybe wishing he framed it a little bit more. We've got Gannon Herring for his second inning of work on the mound. Last inning he had two earned runs, a strikeout, and a walk. Next pitch, called strike on the outside corner, 2-1. Next pitch, way inside, nearly hits him. 3-1 count. If you're a hitter, it's your favorite count. If you're it a pitcher, is. you hate it. <laughs> yeah, it's a love-hate relationship right there. Dangerous count. We saw a couple weeks ago, I keep referencing this because it's the only home series we've had so far, but uh, Bryson Lofton got a 3-1 count and absolutely crushed one on the right side. Yeah, that that was, Bryson Lofton is one person you don't want to give that kind of count no, to. Absolutely not. And that'll be ball four. And speaking of Bryson Lofton... Up to bat next, Bryson Lofton. There he is. Just the guy we want with a runner exactly. on. Exactly. Now he's 0 for 2 on the day with a strikeout, but he's not to be underestimated. He's not. He batted, I believe it was like 439 last year, something ridiculous like that. He made second team All-American, led the team in home runs, and was like top five in the country for home runs for a while. Really good year, and he's looking for another one today. Oh, that one's way inside. Ball one. That was up at his eyes. Sure was. A little chin music right there yeah. for you. Trying to back him off the plate. As he, He's had to work over at third base so far today. A lot of plays just out of reach. He's been diving. You can see it on his pants. And here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss. Or actually swing and a foul tip. Popped it right over the catcher. That'll be a 1-1 one, one count. reaction looked like he was a little upset by missing that one now Bryson's I've heard you know his dad's usually in the stands here um, he was his high school coach as well but Bryson's pretty hard on himself when it comes to missing pitches that he thinks he should have hit and not getting the results he's looking for and here's the one one pitch fouled back yeah he's a little bit frustrated right now now thinking just missed that pitch I mean just missed it yeah. just got a little under it but he's, he's a hard worker, and when he's frustrated, I've heard he'll go and take like two or 300 swings for practice in the batting cages, and his dad's had to basically tell him, you know, you don't need to do this much. Sometimes you just need to take a rest, but he's real, real focused, wants to get those results, and here's a 1-2 pitch, ball in the dirt, 2-2 two -two count. But it's paid off for him last year, and he's looking to do more this year. Two two count. Pitcher gets his sign to the lefty. He's got a clear view over to first, but so far he's not picked off. And here's the pitch. In the dirt. Ball three. And that will run the count full. Waiting patiently for his pitch. Mm -hmm. Just a quick look at Lofton's stats this year. Overall number. Well, before that, we got a full count. Pitcher set. And here's the payoff pitch. Big swing. Fly ball to center field, and the center fielder's hanging underneath it, and that'll just be a fly out. Looked great off the bat, but we got a deep center field. 400 feet to dead center. Not where you want to hit the ball. No, not with that kind of. Not right there. Thought he pieced it up, but yeah. just a little too underneath it. 
He hit it pretty hard, but he hit dead center. It's just not room there. If he pulls that ball, there's a good chance it goes out. If but pulls the ball, you think it's a good bit close to the fans, if not over. Yeah, probably would have landed. If you put it in the gap, it's landing for sure. Good piece of the ball. Up to bat next. That'll be Daniel Dryden. Dryden's two for two on the day with a solo home run. He was the first scorer of the game. Been the most productive player for the Lions so far. And he's looking for his third hit of the game. And before that, we got a new pitcher on the mound. After getting that out on Lofton with that lefty-lefty matchup, looks like they're putting in a righty pitcher. Most of the Brian, most of the lineup is righties, so it's going to be a better matchup overall. So they were holding on to that pitcher just for Lofton. And we got Riley Monheimer on the mound. And real quick, while he's warming up, I just want to point out, we've got the, you can hear our voices real clearly. We've got this great audio equipment. We've got a new camera set up. We're going to have some new cameras coming in the future. But the result of all this is we want to thank our sponsors. We couldn't have done any of this without them. We're getting new equipment, uh, more help for the video. It's going to be improving every game. And we just want to thank our sponsors for all that they're doing for us. We couldn't have done it without them. And we're going to have more upgrades coming in the future. More camera angles. Potentially more voices coming on. That would be amazing. Be more great. people to talk with. But, yeah, just a, just a thank you for them for sponsoring and funding our uh, our live streams. Just for funding the baseball team in general, too. Yeah. Making it possible for us to have better live streams. You can see what's going on. You can see the new, um, what do you call it, the new graphics that we got on the screen. You can see everything going on. It's all because we're able to get new upgrades for everything. Huge thanks to the huge thanks to the sponsors. Yep. And more coming soon. Yes, sir. And actually, as a side note, uh, softball had their first has their first two home games going on right now. They should have finished game one by now, but they're live over also on the YouTube, the same YouTube that we're streaming right here, and they haven't had live streams I don't believe before. So they'll be having their first live stream set up today. So today was a big game, big day for them. And it's all from the same things. It looks like the uh, looks like Riley, the new pitcher, is about done warming up, and we'll have Daniel Dryden up to bat. Dryden's been a core of this uh, Brian lineup for a couple of years now. One of a few seniors. A large chunk of this team is actually seniors. They'll be gone next year. A lot of fifth and even sixth year seniors. Yeah, I've heard we're losing a big chunk on the varsity team as of next year. A lot of guys will be gone. And uh, Dryden's been one of those guys that's been with us for a while. Been a starter. Great center fielder. Pitcher set. And here's the first pitch. Big hit oh. to the left side. That ball is high. It's far. And that ball's gone. Another home run for Dryden. Huge hit right there. That'll put him in a one-run deficit right there. That was huge. I'm reeling a little bit. I had home run calls ready for that, and I couldn't <laughs> get him out. Got too excited. Another home run. He is three for three on the day with two home runs. He's having a game right now. Let's hope he keeps it up. Hopefully the team uh, helps him out a little bit here, too. Yep. Now it's a five-to-four ball game. And most of that sinks to Dryden. That He's ball left the bat, and I knew the ball was gone. That ball was crushed. It was fantastic. Happened so quickly, I didn't have a chance to make a call. <laughs> and here's the next pitch. Called strike right across the plate. Can't tell if that's a cutter or a slider, but something started inside and came all the way back across. Something has a little bit of movement. Yep. We have uh, Darwin Gregg up to bat. He's 0 for 2 on the day with a strikeout. That'll be a called strike inside. He didn't agree with that. 0 2 count. And here's the pitch. Ground over to the left side. Shortstop coming forward. Scoops it up, makes the throw. And that'll be out number 2, I believe. Or 1. 
I should be on number two. Yeah, that should be number two. They're just not updating yet. <laughs> a little slow down there. Yeah, I got confused because the scoreboard's still not updated, but looking down, Lofton was the, his big line out to center field was the first out, so that has to be out number two. We got Devin Ogg up to bat, first baseman. He's one for two on the day with a strikeout, looking for his second hit. I believe he may have been before that. Second pitch is a ball outside, 1-1 one, one count. I believe he was one of the runs that scored earlier. Yes, he was. He scored on Cade Cook's double, his hot shot double. And here's the pitch. Swing grounder. Right side, right up the line. Pitcher has to field it, throw it to first, and just gets it in time. And that'll be out number three, but not after damage has been done. Exactly. Big hit. We got two runs scored on a big home run by Dryden, his second home run of the game. He has had a heck of a game today. I know. We're hoping to keep it up, too. Hopefully the team decides to follow in the footsteps right there. But that will be it for the bottom of the fifth. The line score, we've got Lindsey Wilson, five runs, seven hits, and an error. Ryan Lyons, four runs, six hits, no errors. And we'll be back in the top of the sixth inning with Lindsey Wilson up to bat on the Brian Lyons Radio Network. And we are back, top of the sixth inning. Not updated yet. We got Connor Carter back on the mound for his second inning of work. Something's going on, delaying. Everybody's looking over the left side. Umpire was waiting. Okay, looks like we're good. And we're ready to go. We have Connor Carter for a second inning of work. Matthew Schultz leading off. He's one for two so far with no strikeouts, no RBIs. Connor had a great, very efficient last inning. Looking to follow up to it again. There's strike one for the first pitch of the inning. Connor had one strikeout and a walk last inning, nowhere in runs. And the second pitch right there is going to be fouled back for strike two. Okay, o 2 count. Here's the pitch. Ball just outside. That looked great. Just missed it. 1-2 count. It's a competitive pitch, but he didn't get the call or the swing. And here's the 1-2 pitch. Ball low outside. 2-2. Two -two. And here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Pop fly over to the right side. That might land fair. Nope, lands foul. About 10 feet foul. Right down the line. And that'll leave it at 2 2. Okay. 
Connor gets set. Here's the pitch. Some kind of off speed. Ball three outside, and that'll put the count full. He's liking the outside corner there. I feel like he's been living there all game. Well, not all game ball, I bet. He's trying to get him to swing at it, and there's a pop fly, well foul, still full. Yeah, he got to two strikes pretty quickly. He's trying to get him to swing at something. Wouldn't get him, couldn't get him to offer. Umpire didn't call any of it. And here we are, full count. Mm -hmm. I bet he'll go back to that outside corner. Here's the pitch. Yep. Ooh, that was a good pitch. Just missed. Just missed. Fastball outside. Ball I thought court. that was a good piece. Good piece right there, though. I, I was thinking he might call it. It might have been a little bit low. May have been a little bit. But it was a good spot right there. Good spot on the outside, but just a tad low. Up to bat next, we have Sam Gage. He's 0 for 3 on the day, but with an RBI. Now, connor has got that good pickoff move we were talking about earlier. Guy on first, I'm almost certain we'll see it. And there it is, not in time, keeping the runner close at first. Yeah, start off last inning, he hit by pitch on the second pitch of the inning and then picked him off. Fair way to come back uh, after hit by pitch. Give away a free base. You definitely want to take it back if you can. You took it back. And here's the pitch. Ball way up, 1-0. Connor gets set. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Batter doesn't offer. Called ball two. It was just off the plate. Maybe been like. a little up, maybe a little out, but. It was close. Next pitch, ball in the dirt. 3-0 count. Connor's not happy with that pitch. He's frustrated he missed right there. Now he's got to throw something over the plate. Here's the pitch, 3-0. And that'll be ball four outside. Second free base in a row. Not what Connor's looking for here. Not what he wanted, but nope. got to work with it now. Yep. Now we'll see how he deals under stress. He's been a pretty good reliever for us so far. Now we got the head coach going out to the mound. We'll see if it's just him. Oh, he points to right field, and that'll be it for Connor. Good try to laying down in center field. I don't. I think he might be stretching. Yeah, yeah it looks like it. he's stretching the, <laughs> the right hammy back there. But we got yeah, Connor's coming out after one inning of work. We got two runners on first and second, no outs, and we'll be back on the Brian Lyons Radio Network.
And we are back. The new pitcher on the mound, we have Luke Townsend. Coming in for a Connor Carter. And I just closed out my stat sheet by accident. I just did it twice. What am I doing this? And here's the first pitch. Ball outside. Townsend's got a low, I'm not sure if he's quite sidearm, but he's got a low slot pitcher from the right side. Coming in with the runners on first and second. 1 0 count. We got Chance Staten at the plate. He's two for three with a strikeout in the day and a one RBI. Uh, one, one RBI making the difference so far in the game. Sure is. Beat up by one. That one RBI can uh, make or break a game right there. 2 0 count for Luke. Looking back at the runner at second. Here's the pitch. Hard hit ball to left side. That is going to land. Left fielder going to the wall. Runner coming home. Throw in the cut, and runners will stop at second and third for a stand-up double for Chance with his third hit of the day. Not what we're looking for right there. That's not what we're looking for. No. That's going to make it six to four. And after Chance, let's see. We're going to have Kobe Wall, the left fielder, up to bat. Got a big gap between the uh, left fielder and center fielder. First pitch, ball outside, 1-0 count. Probably thinking he's going to end up pulling the baseball right here. If he's a little bit late, though, that's a big it opening. Good, it's a big opening. Big gap. Next pitch, ball. 2-0 count. Luke didn't get the call he was looking for. And third pitch, 3-0 count, ball outside. Next pitch, called strike on the outside corner. He got the call he was looking for, 3-1 count. Still a dangerous count, though. Sure is. Hoping he can paint one of the corners here, but we'll see what happens. Same pitch might be what he wants to go for. And that one's going to be inside for ball four. Bases loaded. Not bad. Not bad for a 3-1. You don't want to give him a cookie, so. No. I mean, that's the best you can do with what you had. Base open at first. There were no force plays. I'd say it's better to walk him there than give him something he can hammer. Exactly. That would be worst case scenario. That would be scenario. worst case scenario. But you're still frustrated when you miss your spots yep. like that. Head coach coming back out. Probably going to try to calm down Luke. Try to keep the nerves at bay. Mm -hmm. Still got a few more innings with the game going, so. Yep. And we're only in the sixth inning. We're playing nine. Going to go out there and calm down Luke. Just a quick little meeting. And now catcher meeting with pitcher while he has the chance. Up to bat, we have Jackson Steele. He's two for three on the day. Two RBIs and a strikeout. Steele had two RBI singles for his two hits. It's getting cold out here. When the sun goes away, it's a little bit chilly. First pitch. <laughs> Tried to pull back on it. Foul tips it back into the screen. He started to offer... And then tried to pull back and doesn't get the bat out of the way in time. Does not. A bit of a lucky break for Luke right there. 0-1 oh, count. And here's the next pitch. Hard hit ball to center field. Center fielder going back. He's coming to the side. Makes the catch at the warning track. Throws it in. Runners are going to tag up. Runner at third is going to score. Runner at second will stop at third. And the runner at first will stay where he is. First and second, one out. And another run will score. That'll make it 7-4, to four, Lindsey Wilson. Sack fly for Jackson Steele. That was first and third. Double play will get us out of the inning if we can get some on the ground. I was hoping we can get something on the ground. I mean, fly balls will take, but not with runners on third base. 
Uh, that was a deep fly ball. That was too. a deep one. If it stayed, it was a little shallower. That was a hard hit ball. It was very hard hit. It was a little bit scary, but yeah, something a little shallower, and they don't even get the tag. It's probably one of the deepest parts in the in the park here. Yeah, it was. He hit it just before that 400 spot, that little stretch in the middle. That ball's hammered. It's gone in any other part of the park. It sure would. Good read by the center fielder too. Yep. Dryden's a good center fielder out there. Owen making his call for the first and third play. Let's see what happens here. One out, first and third. We got Jaden Cockerell up to bat. He's 0 for 2 on the day. And Luke's going to try to keep him that way. Make him 0 for 3. Looks at third. Here's the pitch. Nice pitch, ball inside. It was an off speed that he tried to cut back in, didn't quite get it across the plate. I think a little bit of too late of break there. A little bit earlier break would have put it across the strike zone. Just a little too far in. Here's the next pitch. That was a side armor slot. He went down on that one, and that's going to be a strike one, one, one count. I'm going to say this play was going for the first pitch, but didn't quite get it, so he went back with it the second pitch. Now he found a spot, one, one. See what he follows it up with. Quick pitch. Fastball doesn't get the call. That was a nice-looking mm. pitch on the outside corner. That's going to make it 2-1. The stands disagreed with that call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's the next pitch. Foul tip straight back into the screen. That'll make it 2-2. <laughs> Three guys simultaneously run for that foul tip just now. One of the coaches, one of the assistant coaches, and the umpire all at the same time. It's a race at that point. <laughs> Whoever gets it first wins. Once uh, the two coaches started going, they sprinted. A little bit of competition there. And here's the 2-2 pitch. Big swing and a miss on an off-speed pitch. That'll be strike three. Two outs now. Huge out right there. That Big is out. definitely what they needed. That takes some stress off of that. Sure does. Now you can get that force play at first base and in the inning. Yep, a little sigh of relief right there. Yep. It's not over yet, though. We've got a lefty coming in. Up to bat, we have Andres Durham. He's two for three, or excuse me, he's one for three on the day with an RBI. First pitch, swing and a miss, 0 1. Luke gets his call, not even looking at the batters. Here's the next pitch, past the catcher, bounces right back to him, no runners. A little bit scary right there. It was a little scary. Good thing it bounced right back to him. I think it was a called strike. Was it? I think it just went off Owen's glove. It was called strike. Um, or the scoreboard saying that. If that's true. We got an 0-2 count. Head coach for Lindsey Wilson is going to ask what's happening there. Not happy about the call. And nothing to it. 0 2 count. So even though it was a bit of a scary pitch, he still got the call. Way ahead in the count, and here's the pitch. Grounder over to the right side, foul. Still 0-2. I noticed that uh, Luke's pitching from the windup now. Yeah. We got runners at second and third, so not expecting a stolen base. So instead of going from the stretch, he's going from the full windup. Seems I think he's quick enough even from yeah. the windup to get to the mound, I mean to the plate quick enough. Yeah. Oh. Hard hit ball to the right side. Actually, not very hard hit. Grounder. Throw it to first, and that'll be out number three. That will end it, the inning. A bit of a scary one. Two runs allowed. It's going to be seven to four. Lindsey Wilson, seven hits, or excuse me, seven runs on eight hits and an error. Lions, four runs, six hits, no errors. We'll be back with the Lions up to bat in the bottom of the sixth inning on the Brian Lions Radio Network.
And we are back. Bottom of the sixth inning leadoff for the Lions is Cade Cook. And he shows bunt, pulls it back in time. That'll be ball one. Cade Cook is one for two on the day with an RBI and a strikeout. He had a big RBI double in the game when it was, uh, it was we were down, I believe it was one to five. And he put one on the board after the Dryden home, leadoff home run to make it two to five. Yeah, a piece that right down the uh, left field line was mm -hmm. beautifully placed. Oh, yeah. He hammered that ball, too. His speed had a stand-up double. Yep. 2-0 count. Second pitch was a ball, and here's the pitch. Called strike on the outside corner. K doesn't offer it. Not what he's looking for there. That'll make it 2-1. Pitcher gets set, and here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss. He was looking for that one. It's going to make it 2 2. Like slider, some kind of off speed coming back across the plate. Not what he was expecting, I don't think. He was geared up for it, but he missed it. And here's the 2 2 pitch. Same pitch, popped it way up. That ball's up there. But infield, shortstop going over, makes the catch, and a routine pop out for out number one. I didn't mention this earlier. This is Riley Monheimer. He finished out last inning for Lindsey Wilson, coming back up for his second inning of work, and that'll put him at one complete inning of work, his third out. He's actually only thrown seven pitches. Wow. Seven pitches over an inning. That's pretty impressive. But he has an earned run. We got Owen Naparowski up to bat, and here's the first pitch. Called strike coming across the plate, 0-1. Owen's one for one on the day with no RBIs. He's been walked a couple times, I believe. Next pitch in the dirt, 1-1. One, one. Pitcher's loving the junk right now. I haven't seen him throw very many fastballs. He's getting guys to swing, though. It's working against righty. It is working. That righty-righty off speed is making guys swing. He just got Cade to pop out from it. Same pitch. Called strike on the inside. Owen does not agree with that. He didn't like it. 1-2 count. Yeah, Owens one for one with the walk. This is his third at plate appearance. Fly ball over to the right side, out of the infield. Second baseman running out for it and makes the catch in shallow right field. That'll be two outs. Up to bat after Owen. We've got Danny Marquez, the shortstop for the Lions. And here's the first pitch. Doesn't offer. Strike one over the plate. And here's the 0-1 pitch. Ground over to the left side. Still fair. Third baseman muffs it, and that's going to be a single. Looks like it hit the lip right there and just kind of died and went under yeah, the glove. It died in the grass and then hopped weirdly. The third baseman completely missed it. That's going to be a yeah. single. He didn't glove it at all. He didn't touch it. And that's going to be the first hit of the day for Danny. He's going to be <laughs> one for three after that. Got to love it. Hey, I hit to hit at that point it's right there. Not complaining. It's not an error, at least. Mm -mm. <laughs> Up to bat next, we have Bradley Prince, the left fielder for the Lions. Here's the first pitch. Outside, ball one. one -oh count. Pitcher glances at first, gets set. Here's the pitch. Outside. Nice looking pitch, just missed it. 2-0 -oh count. I can't tell if that's his fastball or not. It's got a lot of movement on it's it. It's got some move to it. Almost like a cutter, almost. It does look like a cutter. It looks a little too firm to be just an off-speed. Whatever it is, he's throwing it primarily. And here's a 2-0 pitch. That was his fastball. That one didn't move. That's going to be strike one, 2-1 two, one count, coming back across the plate. It wasn't what uh, Prince was looking for. I'm about to find out what he's looking for right here. 2-1, here's the pitch. Inside, doesn't swing, ball three. Has to jump out of the way from it, doesn't want to get hit. And now we got the best count 
for a hitter. Uh, oh, yeah. Talk Hitters count right here. Hitters count 3-1. Two outs, runner on first. Chance to do some damage right here for Bradley Prince. And here's the pitch. Outside, ball four. And that will put two runners on with two outs. And a top of the order for the Lions. Yes, sir. Good position to be in right here. Great spot. Up to bat, we've got Tyler Colon. He's 0 for 2 on the day, looking for his first hit with two runners on. This would be a good chance to tie the game right here. Yep. He can. Here's the first pitch. Called strike on the outside. And it looks like it happened last inning, but I missed it. But after his last at bat, um, Bryson Lofton came out of the game. And we've got Cade Cahoon over at third. 0-1 count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Fooled him on that off speed. Got 0-2 count now. Got to defend the plate right here. Mm -hmm. Really important spot in the game. Be a huge hit if he gets out of the infield right here. Score a run if he gets it out of the infield. And Hard hit to the right side, going down the line. That will land fair, going into the corner. Runners coming home from third. That will score one run. Runners going home from third again. Two runs will score. And it is a 6-7 ball game. That's a huge hit right there. That's exactly where we wanted it, That's exactly right side. exactly what we're looking for. He hit it right down the line. Oh, that the was corner. beautiful. Beautiful hit. First hit of the game. He's one for three now. And a perfect time to get his hit. Oh, that was huge. Huge hit. And just like that, it's back to a one-run ball game. Huge hit right there. That was that was money. How about Bradley Prince scoring from th uh, first from base? From first base. Put yeah. the wheels on there. Yeah, he got sent home by the head coach over at third. He never slowed down. I think the right fielder may have slipped and bobbled it maybe a little bit to give maybe. him that edge. And he threw to second instead of going home. They never even bothered. Up to bat next, we have Cade Cahoon. This is his first at bat of the day. He's in for Bryson Lofton. Not sure why Lofton came out, but Cahoon is a great hitter in his own right. He's been a starter for the uh, Lions for a couple of years, or at least a regular hitter for them. And that is a 1 0 count. Pitcher looks at second. Here's the pitch. Called strike over the plate. 1-1. One, one. Cahoon's got a chance to tie the game right here, or better, put us up by one. The go-ahead run is at the plate right now. Mm -hmm. And we got a runner in scoring position, two outs. Hit scores a run more than likely. And that's going to be ball two. Ooh. I don't know about that call. Thought a little bit inside, but I guess the umpire thought different. Yep, that's going to make it 1-2. That looked well inside. Batter disagreed. Stands this greed, but umpire's call, 1-2. And here's the pitch to Cahoon. Hit up the middle over the second baseman. That will land. They're sending him home. And that is a tied ball game. The Lions are hyped in the dugout. That is a lot of We like right seeing now. that. And look who's up next. We got up here, the Stradley. No. Logan. Oh, who's no. up now? Stradley's the freshman. This is Dryden. Dryden, no boy. And Bad right now, place I'd to be. Oh, yeah. Not a good place to be right now. Tie game, runner on first, two outs, and a three for three Dryden coming out. He's got three RBIs on the game. Three of our seven all scored from his hands, from home runs nonetheless. Yep. Look and see if the hit streak can continue. Let's hope so. That would be awesome. And here's the pitch. Doesn't offer. Runner going to second. Catcher bobbles the ball in a free base. Free base for Cade Cahoon. Now we have a runner in scoring position again with two outs. All of our runs have come with two outs, actually. Hey, After better late than never, right? Oh, yeah. Well, first two hitters of the inning both got out, and then consecutive hits. Hit or a single, walk, double, single. And now a stolen base. And here's the pitch. Hard hit ball to the left side. Shortstop takes it on one hop. He's going to throw to first. That will end the inning, but not after the not until after damage has been done. 
It's a tied ball game it going sure to the is. top of the seventh inning. Lindsey Wilson, seven hit, seven runs on eight hits and an error. Lions, seven runs on nine hits, no errors. We'll be back in the top of the seventh with Lindsey Wilson hitting on the Brian Lions radio network. And we are back, top of the seventh inning. Luke Townsend up for a second inning of work, and that is called strike one to begin the inning. Lead off batter this inning. It's not updated yet. <laughs> Waiting for the uh, for my stat sheet update. Next pitch. Crowd thinks it should have been strike two, but that's going to be a called ball for a 1-1 one, one count. And my co-host running up here, a little bit out of breath. <laughs> Now that hill's just a little steeper than I thought it was going to be. Oh, yeah. We got some steep hills up here. Baseball field's basically on the side of a hill. Here's the next pitch. Ooh. I don't know where that pitch was. Could have been a little low, possibly. It looked great from up here, but we don't have the great, greatest vantage point. And that will make it a 2-1 count. Nope, 3-1 count. Score was a little late to update. And here's the next pitch. Ball up for ball four. Luke Townsend's a little upset by that call. Yeah, I didn't seem to like it. Nope. All right, he's got to work with what he's got here, though. Head coach not going out there to give him some, a little bit of time. Not too worried about it. So leadoff runners on base. Okay, finally updated. So that was Bryce Sidler, who just got walked as the leadoff batter. Now we got Nazir Bergen. He's 0 for 2, two strikeouts in the game. And here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss in the dirt. Strike one. Great start to the at bat. That's what he was looking for last at bat. Luke gets his pitch, checks first. Here's the pitch. Swing and a foul tip off of the catcher. That'll be strike two. O2 count on Bergen. Pick to first. Good throw. Really quick move. Good Not move. Time. Yeah. That was a faster move than I thought. It was. I didn't think Luke could move that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't underestimate him. I'm Not anymore. And here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss. Strike three. That'll be the first out of the inning. That's Townsend's second strikeout of the game. Now he's got one and a third. Two strikeouts. Two walks. I believe that is third, uh, 24 pitches. It's about six pitches per out, a little high, not bad. Next pitch outside, it looks like a sleep, uh, sweeping slider coming off the plate. That'll be ball one. We got Matthew Schultz up to bat. He is one for two on the day. I think this is his, I wanna say this is his fourth plate appearance, maybe his third. Let's see. Next pitch, ball outside again, 2-0. Schultz is one for two with two. He scored twice. He's walked once. And that is a called strike one. Two, one count. Next pitch called strike two, two count. 
Townsend coming back into the count. And a quick score update for anybody keeping up with it. The uh, Lions softball team had their first game earlier. They won one nothing through seven. So good start. First home game of the season for them. Good start to the season. They'll play their next game in about 30 minutes. 2-2 two -two count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. There Second it is. out of the inning. Second strikeout of the inning. Looking big good out so right far. There. Oh, big out right there. They'll get one more and we're out of the inning. Great way to kind of kick back from that walk he started oh, the yeah. inning with. Love it when you see veteran pitchers start off the inning with a walk and then bite back instead of letting it continue. Yeah, we like the fine back part, but the walk, we can scratch that we, one out. We, but we can like scratch the walk. the walk, but we, we love like the, the follow-up. Coming up. back, yep. Yep. Pick off to first, not in time. Aug pulled off the base to get the catch. Townsend now one and two-thirds, 29 pitches, three strikeouts, two walks. Gets set. Here's the pitch. Pop fly out of the infield into shallow left center. Getting called off by the left fielder. Stumbles a little bit, makes the catch, though. That will be out number three, top of the seventh inning. One walk. One left stranded, no damage done, two strikeouts. Good inning overall for Townsend. Oh, yeah. Very good outing. Very good outing. We're looking to take the lead in the bottom of the seventh Let's inning. Let's hope so. But that is it for the top of the seventh. We'll be back in the bottom of the seventh with the Lions up to bat in the Brian Lions Radio Network. And we are back, bottom of the seventh inning. Leadoff batter for the Lions will be Darwin Gregg. New pitcher on the mound for Lindsey Wilson. we got Jake Studeville. Tall, righty pitcher. Darwin's still looking for his first hit of the game. Dangerous hitter when he's locked in. Just hasn't quite found his groove today. And here's the first pitch. Fly ball over to the right side, and there's his first hit. Quick and easy first pitch of the inning. Got to love it. A little backside single. We love to see it. Love to see it. Never going to complain about a hit. Mm -mm. No matter where it's at, hit's a hit. Sometimes you just got to shorten your approach. Yep. He's Can't big, think too much. Just got to do. Big Let power hitter. He wants to hit for power, but sometimes you just got to hit it the other way. Yep. And that's exactly it right there. Up to bat now, we have Devin Ogg. He's one for three on the day with the strikeout. Looking for his second hit. And he was the second run scored by the Lions. Wants to offer at it. Called strike one. Oh, 0-1 count for Ogg. Now every runner now is big. Tie game, late innings. And there's strike two. 
O2 count. We don't want to leave anybody on. No, we do not. We don't want to leave anybody stranded. Nope. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Quick sequence by the pitcher. He's moving pretty quickly. He is. He's getting the game going. He's ready to go. Up to bat next, we have Cade Cook. Cade had a decisive RBI double earlier. He scored Devin Ogg. We'll see how many hits he has. Oh. Pick over to first. A little bit of a stumble by uh, Darwin. He wasn't expecting it. Plenty of time to get back, though. Plenty of time. Cade Cook is one for three. That was a balk. Yep. Called balk for the umpire. Free base for Darwin. Now we got runners in scoring position. Let's see what happens here. Runner in scoring position, one out. We've been pretty good with them in scoring position so far. We were great last inning. Why do you think he called that balk? I don't know. I didn't actually see the uh, wind up. I didn't see his motion. But he called it pretty quickly. Next pitch. Strike on the outside corner, 0-1. Cade is one for three on the day. That's his RBI double he hit earlier with one strikeout. Looking for his second hit. Pitcher stepped off and motioned a second. <laughs> I guess that was his fake throw. Not really caring. 0-1 oh, count. Gets set. Here's the pitch. Ball outside. 1-1. One, one. Once he gets set, he's got a really quick movement. He don't waste any time mm -hmm. getting to the plate. Very quick to the plate, which makes it hard for the runners to steal bags. You know what? That might have been what he got called on. It could have been. He, he might not have come set properly. Yep. That's really easy to do. Ooh. That was a really pretty pitch. I thought that was right down the pipe. I, I'm not complaining. We've had a couple go the wrong way earlier, it felt like, and won't complain about that one mm -hmm. being in our favor. 2-1 count. That was a called ball. Pitcher probably upset about it. Cade Cook ahead in the count. Dangerous hitter. Here's the pitch. Oh, he just missed one. 2-2 two, two count. He knows he just missed it, too. Two-two two count. Pitcher gets... Set on the mound, gets his sign. He gets his sign. Now he gets set. Plants his back at second. And here's the pitch. Foul tip. Down into down at his feet. Still two two. Two two count for Cade Cook, looking for something he can hit here, but anything close he's got to make contact with. Hopefully, poke it the other way. That'd be great. We've had a couple so far, and foul, foul tip over to the right side. Good job fighting it off. He was pretty far ahead of that one. Looks like he hit that off the end of the bat. Yeah, it looks like it. He was so far ahead that he was already turned around and tipped it. I'm guessing he probably could hit it up the middle if he timed it. We timed it right. I bet he was looking fastball, doing off speed. Still 2-2, same count. And here's the pitch. Hard hit ball to the left side, left fielder going over. Doesn't make the catch, hit right over his head. Darwin's running home. Throw, throw not in time, cut off by the third baseman. He throws it to second, also not in time, and that'll be a stand-up double for Cade Cook, his second RBI double of the game. We'd love to see that just like that. Awesome clutch There's hits the go for Cade ahead. so far. Go ahead, run, scored. Cade at second once again, and Owen Naparowski at the plate. I thought the left fielder had it, then it looks saw like the it, ball go behind him. It was either right off his glove or just out of his reach. He hit that ball hard. He did. He one-hopped the wall with that hit. Owen is one for two on the day with a walk. Looking for his second hit. Let the hit parade continue. And here's the pitch. Ball up. Doesn't offer. Let's 
Next pitch is the ball in the dirt. 2-0 count for Owen. After a slow start to the game, just a couple runs total between the first three innings. It's gotten really exciting over the last four, especially with it, the uh, Brian offense that we're used to showing up in the last couple innings. Four consecutive innings with runs scored. Mm -hmm. Gotta love it. Slow start, but we're here now. Train's rolling, and it's not stopping anytime soon. That'll be strike one just over the plate. 2-1 count. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Hard hit ball to left side. One hops the shortstop. He can't glove it. Hops over his head. And Kate is going to score from second. Owen's going to stop it first. And there's another RBI hit. There it is. Hit parade continues. Nice hit. Solid. Solid contact. Solid contact. Ball is hit hard. That's a hard play for the shortstop. They probably won't call it an error. Mm -hmm. That was a very hard hit baseball. It kicked off that uh, lip right at the grass and jumped over his head. Yep. Nearly hit him in the head. I thought it almost got him, but... Went by him. Bit of a scary hop there if you're the shortstop. Yeah, it looks like they don't call it an error. It's a single. We got Danny Marquez up to bat. He's one for three. Had a bloop hit in his last at bat, but a great start to go hitting. And here's the pitch. Foul tip straight back. Oh, one count. One out. Runner on first. We've got a courtesy runner on, over on first. And here's the pitch. Ooh. Inside hits him. That'll be a free base for Danny. Pitcher not having a good inning so far. That's Jake Studdeville on the mound. And I'm thinking his leash might be a little short right now. I think so. Yep. Oh, there's and the here head he coach. Is. Yep. Don't have to give him a little talk. Taking little his talk. time walking over. Probably giving the bullpen time to warm up. Steadville's gotten one out so far. Two earned runs and a strikeout for that one out. I can't tell if anybody's in the bullpen right now. He hasn't motioned anywhere. Might just be calming him down. But I, mean, I don't see anybody going, anybody working back there. So there's somebody walking down, jogging down there. Yeah. So. Looks like a coach is jogging down and tell somebody to get warm. So right now he's trying to calm down his pitcher. Yep. Either buying time or trying to calm him down, or both. Probably both. Up next we have Bradley Prince. He's 0 for 1. I think he's walked twice so far, maybe one hit by pitch. But he's been on the <laughs> base pads a good bit. Yeah. And any way to get on is a good way to get on. Exactly. Let me double check but I believe he has scored as well. Let's see. Where is he? Bradley Prince. He has walked twice. He has scored once. I mean, in close games, I mean, anybody on, Everyone that's what we counts. need. Everybody counts. Yep. That one of his two walks led to one of our runs. Now we have a lead. Pitcher gets set. Runners on first and second. One out. Here's the pitch. Called strike in the outside corner. Pretty good spot right there. Not what Prince was looking for, at least not for the first pitch at the bat. Here's the pitch. Ball in the dirt outside. No runners. That'll make it 1 1. Pitcher gets a sign from the catcher. Gets set. Glances back at second. Looks again. And here's the pitch. Ground over the left side. Foul. Going to the away dugout. And that'll make it two strikes. Mm hmm Let's see what happens here. I mean, the ball in play will be, unless it's right up the middle, would be preferred. Mm -hmm. Some out of the We're hoping he to poke it somewhere. Somewhere on the right side, hopefully. Well, and with runners at first and second, there's always double play ball to yeah. worry about. You want to get out of the infield, even if you pop it out of yep. the infield. Something out of the infield is the best case scenario. Here's the pitch. Swing Ooh. and a miss. And that'll be strike three. Not what we wanted, but Not happens. a double play. No. Worst case scenario. Not best case scenario, of course, but there's worse. Yeah, it could have been worse, right? Yeah. 
And we have David Walker actually is pinch running for Danny, who got on a minute ago. He's actually one of our pitchers, David Walker is. Bird first pitch is a called ball. And on second base, we've got Alex Rollins. He was the courtesy runner for Owen Naparowski, the catcher. Catcher's getting their courtesy runners, of course. And here's the 1-0 pitch. Ball up and out. 2-0 count. We've got Tyler Colon at the plate. He's one for three on the day. Two RBIs. He had that big first hit just last inning. That yep. put us up. A huge hit backside. Mm -hmm. First hit of the game was a big hit. Mm -hmm. I was hoping he could do the same thing here. Let the hit parade continue. Yes, sir. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Up. Catcher one, fake throws the first. That'll make it 3-0. Do you think he has a green light? I'd say so. Give him the green light. Give him the green light here. Up by two. Two runners on with two outs. Good chance he's just looking at it. but If it's his pitch, go for it. If it's down the middle. It wasn't down the middle. Called strike on the outside corner. Wasn't his pitch. Thought he was about to walk him for a second, but not the pitch you want to go green light on. No, definitely not. 3-1 count, though. Still a hitter's count. Still a hitter's count. The hitter's count. And here's the pitch. Oh, big swing that was and a it. miss. Yep. Up in the zone, and he was way ahead of it. And that will run the count full. Pitcher gets his sign, gets set, looks back at second, and here's the full count pitch. Grounder over to the left side, fielded by the shortstop, hard throw to first, and that is in time. That will be out number three. But once again, the damage has been done. Brian's, the Brian Lions add to their lead. It is now 9-7 <laughs> Lions, and we'll be back in the top of the eighth inning on the Brian Lions radio network. And we're back in the top of the eighth inning. Lions are up nine to seven. Lindsey Wilson up to bat and Chance Slate Staten, excuse me. I've said it correct so far. First time I've said it wrong. He is three for four in the day. He's leading off for Lindsey Wilson. He's got two over the eyes and a strikeout. And Luke Townsend's out for his third inning of work. He had a really clean inning last time in the top of the seventh. He's got two innings pitched, three strikeouts and two walks, 30 total pitches.
And here's the first pitch. Grounder over to the left side, foul. Right to the Lindsey Wilson head coach, and he throws it back to the pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> Picked by the, but barehanded by the head coach. I always love seeing coaches do that. It's one of my favorite things, watching them barehand those rockets at them. Oh, they pride in it, too. Oh, they, yeah. They want to show off. And that'll make it 0-1. Luca heading the count. Here's the pitch. Called strike. He really threw that one Yeah, in. that one had a little, bit of, a little bit of heat behind it. And that was over the top, too. Have you noticed? He's yeah. throwing from like I saw four that one over the top. He's throwing from like four arm slots. Yeah. I've seen him throw three-quarter, low three-quarter. I've seen him step down and throw almost submarine. And then that was 12 o'clock right over the top. And that one's somewhere between three-quarter yeah. and 12 o'clock. That'll be a ball outside, one-two count. Oh, this is not Luke Townsend. Okay. That's, that makes more sense. That would this make is, it. This is Jacob Allman. Yeah, that would confuse things. They had it They had it wrong in here. They updated it late. Big swing and a miss. Strike three. Allman throws heat. Yeah, this is Jacob Allman. I'm not sure. Not sure how I confused it earlier, but he came in for Luke Townsend. They just hadn't updated it yet. And that'll be strikeout on four pitches. And Allman's one of our, it, basically our primary reliever, basically mm -hmm. our closer. Um, Good arm. Oh, great arm. Our first uh, home weekend where I was announcing, he got the save in both games. Very nice. He, he threw over 100 pitches in about six innings of work in two separate games in a doubleheader. Dang. Same day. It was ridiculous. I don't. You don't see anything like that usually. He's always throwing, so he's got a healthy arm too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And here's the first pitch. Pop fly over the left side, well out of play. And we have Kobe Wall. He's pinch hitting for C. Davis. Let me see. First name on that. For Caden Davis. Looks like we had a we're gonna have some defensive subs coming back for the next inning. Next pitch is a ball. One one count. And here's the pitch. Called strike on the outside corner. One two. Almond gets set. Here's the one two pitch. Ball down in the dirt inside. Two two. Kobe Walls over one on the day with a strikeout. <laughs> two two pitch. Big swing and a miss. Strike three. There it is. That's a beauty right there. Great pitch. Second strike strikeout for Allman. And if he gets through this next batter cleanly, I bet we'll see him next inning yep. as well. I Almost think so. Certainly. He's usually a two or three inning relief guy when he can be. Mm -hmm. He's done it a lot. Especially today. We got one game. Doesn't have to worry about anything after today until the end of the week. No reason for him to not come in next inning. And here's the pitch. Ball way outside. Looks like a slider that he just yanked. <laughs> and motioning to the catcher saying, my bad, my bad. 1-0 <laughs> count. Gets set, and here's the pitch. Ball in the dirt. My bad again, you said? <laughs> that universal sign that yep, we all see, yep. tap on the chest, my bad. 2-0 <laughs> count. This is Jackson Steele at the plate. He's two for three. He's got three RBIs and a strikeout in the day. And a hard ground over the left side, picked up by the third baseman. Throw to first. Beauty. Plenty of time. A little bit off the mark, but still a great play. And that is three outs. Three quick. up, three down right there. Three up, three down. Two strikeouts. Quick work by Jacob Allman. Threw only nine pitches. Actually, that's not up to date. Either nine or ten pitches. Great outing by Allman. We'll be back. Great outing. We'll be back in the bottom of the eighth inning. Lions up 9-7 to seven on the Brian Lions Radio Network.
And we are back. Bottom of the eighth inning, lines up to bat. Got Cade Cahoon, the leadoff batter. And here's the first pitch. Ball outside, 1-0. Cade's one for one on the day. He came in for Bryson Lofton, who came out earlier. And he got a hit in his first at bat. RBI hit. Yeah, go ahead, RBI hit. And here's the next pitch. Hard hit ball to left side down the line. That's foul. They're not getting that ball back. It's bouncing against the pond. <laughs> yep. Through the fence and into the pond. Got a 1-1 count now on a hard hit ball. You know, as a hitter, when you absolutely hammer something like that, it's kind of hard to lock back in after the contact. Yep. You want to do it again. Pitcher can take advantage of it. Here's the pitch. Ball above the zone. That was That's a close a good pitch. Idea. That was very close. That was really close. A lot of batters might have immediately gone and swung out of their mm -hmm. shoes at a pitch like that. I was just barreling up one like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. 2 1 count. Here's the pitch. Ooh, throws it behind him. 3 1 count. Gets out of the way for that one. Well, we're now we're in a hitter's count. Here's a 3 1 pitch. Fouled back, full count. Another foul ball, still full count. And here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Up to bat, we've got Daniel Dryden. Uh -oh. Who has had, here we go. He's had a fantastic he's had day. A, he's been having a good game. Hopefully he can keep it going. I don't believe I mentioned this earlier. We've got Reed Markham on the mound for Lindsey Wilson, new pitcher. Here's the pitch. Called strike on the outside corner. 1-0-1. Oh, one. Scoreboard's a little slow to update. Next pitch is a ball, 1-1 one, one count. Big swing and a miss, strike two. Uh, Dryden's three for four on the day with two home runs. A solo shot and a two-run homer. He's been a major contributor to the run so far. And here's the one-two pitch. Ball down and away, two-two count. And that swing before looked like he was trying to hit his third home oh, run yeah. today. He was trying. He was trying to put more on the board right there. But I think right now with the 2 2 count, you just want to get on base and hopefully yeah. score again, get some insurance for the team. Oh, yeah. But we hey, gotta, we'll take a home run, though. We'll I take one of those. Can't say no. It's one of the things that Brian's known for is hitting home runs. Mm -hmm. 2 2 count. Here's the pitch. Called strike three in the outside corner. Dryden disagrees. That's two outs. Up to bat, we've got Darwin Gregg. I think what the offense is, whenever somebody's having an off day, there's always somebody else that's having an on day. Oh, yeah. So we're never just off as a team. And when somebody finally clicks, someone else does. Yep. It tends to happen. Tends to be a domino effect. When uh, Dryden was three for three when he had his last at bat, didn't get a hit then, but then Darwin came up and got his first hit of the game, so it it comes around. And I apologize. The uh, on-screen, all that data that's used, we use the live updates for the stats, and uh, when it's not updated, it's not going to be updated on the stream either, so it's a little bit behind. 
Well, this is Darwin Gregg up to bat, and that was a called strike one, 1-1 one, one count. Foul tip, 1-2. Darwin takes a second, back in the box. Here's the one-two pitch. Ooh, pitch on the outside corner. Doesn't get the call, but that was the same pitch. Good eye. That was a close, that's, that's close a ball right there. Pitch to it watch. was. Dryden just got rung up on the same pitch the outer yep. th at that before. So you got to be careful watching that one go by, too. Yep. Okay, now we're updated. Darwin is one for four on the day with a strikeout. Ball in the dirt, and the count's full. It worked out for him. Sure did. Full, full count. Pitcher gets his sign. And here's the payoff pitch. Ball outside, ball four. Very good at bat right there, especially with that close. What was it, 2-2 two -two count? Yeah, watching was, that ball go that by? That was a 2-2 two -two pitch right off the plate. I don't know how we watched that, honestly. <sighs> close pitch, but it paid off at the end. Yep. Up to bat, we've got Devin Ogg, first baseman for the Lions today. He's one for four, two strikeouts. And here's the pitch above the zone. Ball one. Second pitch, also a ball outside. Or was that third one? Did I miss one? Nope. Scoreboard's just a little ahead of me this time. Yeah, 2 0 -oh count. I think with those little lights missing, you can't really tell was it between a two or a three. <laughs> they look about the same on our scoreboard. They could use a little work there. Here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss. Strike one. Devin looking to put his own home run on the board right yep. there. He got a 2 1 count. Runner at first, two outs. There's been a lot of damage with two outs this game. Swing and a miss, strike two. Runner goes to second. Good jump. Good, great jump. No point even worrying about him for yeah. the pitcher. Really good jump. Make contact there, and he probably got the guy at third. Yep. At least. Now we got runner in scoring position, two outs. 2-2 two -two count. Devin Ogg at the plate, and here's the pitch. Ground over to the right side. Hops towards the first baseman. Gets it on that weird hop and runs to first for out number three. That will end the inning. We had one runner stranded. No, no hits, I believe. Yeah, no hits, no runs. One walk, runner left on base, and that'll be it. Still 9-7 Lions. We'll be back in the top of the ninth inning. So hopefully close out the game with Lindsey Wilson batting on the Brian Lions radio network. And we are back, top of the ninth inning. Lindsey Wilson up to bat. 
chance for the Lions to shut it down right here and finish the game. We got Allman back on the mound for a second inning of work. He got two strikeouts over 12 pitches, and the first pitch is a called strike. Oh, one. Leadoff batter for Lindsey Wilson's Jaden Cockerell. He's over three of the strikeout in the day. Go ahead. Is that a good start? You always want to come back with the first pitch strike. Oh, yeah. I think that just sets the tone. Here's the next pitch. Wants to off Reddit. Called strike two anyway. Batter doesn't like the call. But he's been calling that spot the entire mm, game. Yeah. He's been consistent about that one right there. 0-2 oh, count. All went ahead in the count this time. Well, he's been ahead in the count pretty much every time. Gets set, gets his sign, and here's the pitch. Frames it outside, doesn't get the call. Dugout's loud. They wanted that call. That's going to make it 1-2. Dugout tried to persuade the umpire for that oh, one. They sure did. It was a pretty pitch. It was a hair outside more than likely. Yep. Framed really well by Owen. Here's the 1-2 pitch. That one farther outside. Trying to get the batter to chase. Doesn't offer. 2-2. Next pitch called ball in the dirt. That's going to run the count full. Full count. Allman gets set. Here's the payoff pitch. Grounder up the middle. Shortstop coming over. Picks it up. Quick throw to first. Way over the first baseman off the dugout. And that's going to be a single. Actually, that's going to be an error on shortstop. I believe that is Danny Marquez over there. I can double check that real quick. That is Danny over at short. And we're going to have either a courtesy or it looks like a pinch runner. I don't believe that's the catcher who just got there. It was the catcher. This is a courtesy runner. We got a runner on first, no outs. This is Andre Sturin up to bat. He's one for four on the day. Allman glances at first. Here's the pitch. Pop fly over the right side, out of play, towards the car. <laughs> oh, one count. Pick over to first, not in time. Another quick pickoff move by another pitcher. Almond's got a good move. That and he throws hard too. It helps. Yep, that helps. Oh, one count. Pick the first again, not in time. Really keeping the runner on at first. Oh, one count. Almond set again. Here's the pitch. Oh, great pitch on the outside corner, but not called. 1-1. One, one. That one looked nice. It sure did. I thought that was going to be right there painted on the corner. I figured he'd give it to him right there. He's been given the corner so far this game, but he didn't give him that one. 1-1 mm -mm. one, one count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. One, two, count. Allman gets his sign and checks first base. Throws the first again. Still not in time. Not giving the runner any chance to go. Here's the one, two pitch. Fly ball over to left side, left center. Left fielder going over. It's going to go past him. One hop off the wall. He gets it off the wall. Throwing in to second, not quite in time, and that's going to be a double. Runners at second and third, no runs scored. Great throw by the left fielder to keep a run from scoring right there. And the pinch runner that we have third base, that is Bo Barker, he came in for the catcher, Jaden. <clears throat> now we've got second and third, no outs. This is Bryce Sidler at the plate. He's one for one on the day. A couple of walks. And 
And here's the pitch. First pitch called strike. He loves that spot. Oh, one count. Almond at 21 pitches now. And here's the 0 1 pitch. Big swing and a foul ball. Hits it off his foot. I know what that feels like. That hurts. He's hobbling around for a minute, taking a second. And Almond's first inning at work in the uh, top of the eighth. He got two strikeouts and a ground out. Three up, three down over 12 pitches. So far, he's at now 23 pitches with no outs in this inning. 0 2 count on Sidler. An important moment for uh, Allman. Too much potential to score right here. Only up by two. And he gets set. Here's the pitch. Up above the zone for ball one. He didn't necessarily have to throw him a strike. He just mm -hmm. wanted him to swing. But that wasn't quite close enough to get that swing. Nope, not quite. A little too high, I think. Mm -hmm. Catcher having to reach way up for it. One, two count. Here's the pitch. Batter wants to offer, doesn't, and that'll be 2-2. Two, two. That one looked like it was just in the dirt. Mm -hmm. Good one-two pitch, though. Batter almost went for it, but he held. Almond gets set, 2-2 two, two count. Here's that pitch. Great pitch on the outside corner. Doesn't give it to him. I'd be a little frustrated. Maybe right been a now. little high, if anything. I thought that was right there. It looked a lot like the first pitch he threw. Yep. For the first strike of the of the at bat. Now we've got a full count. Even more important moment for Allman. Here's the pitch. Hard hit ground to the right side. That is through between the short and third baseman. One runner scored. Runner at second stops at third. And that'll be an RBI single for Sidler. That is an unearned run. Not that it really matters. It's still a one-run ball game. And yep. That's what matters at the end of the day. Sure does. Go ahead. Run is on first base. Yep. Time runs at third, which is scary. Go ahead's at first base already. Coach is having a talk with the uh, batter right here. What do you think he's going to do here? Tell him the bunt. He do something a little him. sneaky. I could see him telling the bunt. You get that tying run on it. doesn't matter if you give up a couple mm -hmm. outs. Yeah. I mean, they got no outs, so they got a lot of room to play with. Got a, is that a lefty batter from where he's standing? Uh, so it might be. Head coach going over to talk to Allman. I, don't, I wouldn't assume he's bringing him out right here. Or well, just give him a pep talk and just be aware of the sure. bunt. Got to calm him down. Maybe give bullpen a little time if they need it. If they need it. But Allman's their go-to guy. Consistent closer and reliever. I can't imagine they pull him out in here. He's the guy you want in this situation, yeah. not vice versa. Yeah, I don't think he'll pull him just yet. I think they're just going to keep him, keep him calm. And just have the infield be be aware of what might might go down. And it's the first and third scenario. Yep. There's probably some call to be had. No outs, though. So there's only so much you can do. I can't imagine they'll throw down. Yep. They may try to fake it out and get the guy at third. Looks like we're pinch running for their runner at first. Getting that go-ahead runner, whatever fastest guy on their team they're going to have over there. Team, they're going to have him steal here. What do you think they're going to do here? They'll probably try to have him steal because... Yep. Low chance will throw down. Also, even if he doesn't steal, put a faster guy over there and he can go first to home yep. on a hit. Yeah, I mean, baseball speed's a crucial crucial part of it. You can get a lot done with speed. Allman taking his time on the mound. Getting reset, calming down. And it looks like everybody's ready to go. Batter in. Umpire not quite ready. Now he is. Everybody else is ready to go. Waiting on the umpire. And here's the first pitch. Almond was rearing to go. Big swing, strike one. That didn't look like a bunt to me. Mm -mm, not to me. That looked like a uh, home run swing right there. Sure did. He looked like he was trying to put him up by two. Yep. Pick over to first. Not in time. Keeping the runner honest over there. Make sure they're not pulling anything sneaky. I mean, with that move, he takes too big of a lead. He may get him right there. Yeah. Oh, one count. Almond gets set. 
Coming home with the pitch. Batter wants to offer, doesn't. Almond doesn't get the call, 1-1. One, one. Here's the pitch. Called strike on the inside half of the plate. Batter doesn't like the call. One, two count. He's been calling that spot the whole yep. game, though. Called it last. Lefty or righty, he's been calling Lefty that. Lefty and righty, he loves that half of the plate. Good pitch, too. One, two count. And here's the pitch. Pop fly out of play. Well back. Putting the cop car in danger. Of being hit. Still a one, two count. And here's the one-two pitch. Runner going. Owen oh, fakes the throw to second. Nobody's there. And that'll make it 2-2. Two -two. And here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss, but it's through the catcher. Runner's coming home. No play at home and tie game. <clears throat> that's a tough one right there. That's that's a hard one. Did the runner go to first there? Yes. Yep, dropped third and um, he ran the first. No play at all. Man, that hurts all the way around. Yeah, that stings. So strikeout. Drop third strike. Runner makes it to first. Runner on third makes it home. And the runner that was on second is now at third base. So we're back to first and third. No outs. Mm, with a tie ball with game. With a tie ball game. Which, not a fun scenario. Looks like they're switching we some have, things around right here. we got a defensive substitution. That looks like, um, I think that's Alex Rollins going out to center field where Dryden is. It looks like Rollins. I'm pretty sure he's number 38. I can double check that. We got someone else coming over. Devin Ogg is no longer at first base. Can't tell who that is over at first now, though. Rollins is number 39. I'm not sure who number 38 is yet. Maybe you grabbed the wrong jersey, but it was close enough. Apparently this run scored was also unearned. <laughs> Not that it really helps when you've got a tie ball <laughs> game. Only a small consolidation right there. We've got a new fielder at third base. I think that's Dryden, Dryden at third that base. That looks like Dryden at third. So we've got a few defensive subs. They're really not looking to give up another run right here. Dryden's playing on the grass, too. Yeah. I want sure. some lockdown defense right here because, yeah. I mean, go ahead runs 90 feet away. It looks like if there's contact, the play's going home. Dryden's on the grass, not even on the edge, but a foot in. Here's the pitch. Pop fly over to the right side. Pretty deep right field. Right fielder scrambling back. Makes the catch. Runner's tagging, going home. And no play at the plate. It probably could have been a play. He wasn't running very fast, but I think it was a late tag up. He didn't he didn't leave till a little bit later, but Yeah, he probably waited to see. He had plenty of time anyway. Wanted to make sure his ball was caught. And that unfortunately will give the lead to Lindsey Wilson on a sacrifice fly. With one out. With one out as the first out of the inning. But now there's double play potential. Yep. A runner at first, one out. Double play will end the inning. Dryden's still playing pretty close up, not as far up as he was a second ago. And middle infielders are playing back, looking for a double play right here. And strike one. Called strike on the outside half. Yeah, it is Alex Rollins in center field. Daniel Dryden at third base, Kate Cahoon's at second, and Tyler Cullen at first, the big swap around on the field. And here's the pitch. Big lead by the first the runner at first. Doesn't do anything. There's a ball above the zone. One one count. Apologize, we are in the south, so there's some loud cars around us. 
I think they see the booth and they're like, yeah, let's rev it as, <laughs> as loud as we can. They love doing that. Called strike two. Batter wants to offer. Doesn't, but it gets called anyway. Now one, two count. One out. Runner at first. Not been a quiet moment this inning. Allman gets set. Here's the pitch. Fly ball, left side, well hit. Some cars in danger up the hill. Doesn't quite make it to them. Still a one-two count. <laughs> one-two pitch. Above the zone, runner going to second. Tag just barely not in time. A slightly better throw and would have had him. Two two count. Almond set. Here's the pitch. Above the zone. Gotta run the count full. Not the result he's looking for here. I'm looking to fight back and finish the at-bat, get that strikeout. He's been a good strikeout pitcher so mm -hmm. far this this season. His first outing was electric. Yeah, three up, three down the first inning. He was out. Called pitch on the outside corner. Strike three for two outs. And Lindsey Wilson's not happy about that mm -mm, call. Not at all. Stood there. Mm. Rung up, looking backwards. Yeah, day. he just stood there, kind of just. Sitting there, didn't know what to do. Didn't believe his eyes. Nope. He got the strikeout. Two outs, runner on second. Force play at first one inning or yep. anything in the air that's caught. And here's the pitch. Whoa. Good pitch right there. Buckled. Great him. pitch. He buckled the batter. Came batter back. can't believe he it. He doesn't believe it. He's looking at the umpire like, what are, did you just call? Yep. Great pitch by Allman. Started inside, buckled the batter, came back across, across called strike one. Got to love pitches like that. Oh, yeah, I love it. That's the most love fun, to see it. That's the most fun to catch, too. Yeah. When you can take it back and just frame it. And you sit there like, yeah, what are yeah. you looking at? Yeah, that's a strike. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> yep. Can't, not much you can do because, I mean, no. you try to swing at that, it might hit you. It might hit you. Some guys love those pitches. Yeah. I kind of like to swing at them. That's not a bad. That's probably a bad habit of mine. You turn on it. <laughs> turn on it, yep. 0-1 count. Almond stepped off and looked at second. Now he's back set again. And here's the pitch. Another buckle pitch. There it is again. It was above the zone, though. Ten does not like that. No, he's not liking that at all. Whatever off speed he's throwing, I think it's a slider. I he's, think it's a slider right he's there. buckling whenever he throws it inside. I would keep going back to it. I'd go back to him at least one more time before and, he picks yeah. it up. And if he doesn't buckle this time, then you can you know, throw your 90 yep. heater. But he doesn't like that pitch. Oh, he's seen it now. He didn't buckle into that he one. Didn't. No, he was looking to swing at it. Cr the crowd getting kind of loud, thinking that should have been a strike. Two one count. Didn't call it. Coach was a little confused <laughs> down there. Lindsey Wilson, umpire, was about to get very upset, confirming whether it was a ball or strike. He wasn't sure which one it was. Two one count. And here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss, strike two. If you gotten that call, that would have been it. Yep. But can't change it. It's 2-2 two, two count, two outs, runner on second. Almond looking to shut out the inning right here. Yep, trying to get her batters shut back it down right here. Yep. Yeah. Shut it down, get the batters back on. Let the offense work. Yep. I'm trying to remember who was the last hitter. It's been a minute since we hit. I'm already forgetting. Pop fly, well out of play into the trees behind the field. Nope, not into the trees, just in the grass. Still a 2-2 two -two count. Almond gets set. 2-2 two -two pitch. Grounder up the middle. Shortstop coming over. Grabs it, throws a first. Just, oh, tag of the plate. And he got him. Got him at home. Wow. 
So for those who couldn't see, throw to first. Umpire said he pulled off the bag, did not manage to stay on the bag. The throw was in time. Quick throw to first because the runner, the runner ran home and out at the plate will end the inning. Yep. Very good heads up right there. Seen the runner going home, yep. hum that thing at him. Heads up throw, good play, good tag. Um, Owen got ran over at the plate. He did. And so the call was a little late because he was waiting to see if he held on to the ball. He did. He showed it to him. And that will end the inning right there. We'll be back in the bottom of the ninth inning. Down one run, 10-9 to nine, on the Brian Lyons Radio Network. Welcome back. Bottom of the ninth inning, Lions up to bat. One run ball game. And leading off this inning, we've got Cade Cook. Cade Cook's been awesome this game. Yep. Had two doubles in a row. Two with some RBI RBIs doubles. in there, yep. Yep. Two clutch RBI doubles and important moments. He was our second RBI of the game was when he hit his first double. And here's the first pitch. In for a called strike one. Didn't really like the call. Got a couple substitutions in the defense. Siddler's in the first place for first base for Smith. Actually, these are just people who had pinch runners being put back in their positions. That's all that is. We got a foul ball over to the left side for strike two. That'll be an 0-2 count. Kate Cook is two for four, two doubles, two RBIs, and a strikeout. Looking for his third hit of the day. Umpire needs to reload on his baseballs. Yep. And out. Always need to be, always need to some baseballs. O2 count. Pitcher's ready. And here's the pitch. Well outside behind the lefty batter's box. Big reach by the catcher. <laughs> yeah, catch big that. reach. Not that it really mattered. He could have let it by him. But 1-2 count. And here's the 1-2 pitch. Above the zone at Cade's eyes. That'll be 2-2. Two -two. Cade getting a chance to be patient. Not very close pitches. Yep. He didn't have to foul anything off. His last about, oh, before that. Ball over to the right side. Right fielder coming in. And he will be there. Good little piece of hitting, but not quite enough. That he was patient too, but he was also aggressive. You don't want you don't want to be too aggressive, not with this kind of a close baseball game like this. Yep. It was the right kind of patience and aggressiveness. Yep. Last his last at bat, I remember he fouled off three or four yeah. in a two strike count before making his second double. Yeah. And he was doing the same thing right there. He's got a really good eye at the plate. Want some good ABs. That's what you want. Up to bat next, we've got Owen Naparowski. He's two for three on the day. And a ball above the zone will make it a one oh count. Owens two for three, I believe, with a walk and an RBI. He's had a good day so far. 1-0, here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss, foul tip. <laughs> Owen looking to tie the game right there. Yeah, I was. I don't blame him. He can do it. 1-1 one, one count. Here's the pitch. Outside corner of the plate called strike. Same spot the umpire likes to call. He does. Game. That's the spot. He's living there. He loves it there. Especially when there's a righty in the box, he shifted over. It looks even better for yep. him. 
Throws it nearly the same spot. I think a little bit up from the same spot. Looked a hair out and up, but 2-2 two -two count. That's a risky pitch to watch right yeah. after. Yeah. But Owen could see the difference better than we could, I'm sure. I'm sure. And here's the pitch. Big fly ball to left side, really high in the air. Left fielder running over and in. And he makes the catch. That ball was sky high. That ball was well above the it's line. a mile up there. A mile up there, easily. Felt like it, at least. Yeah, I thought that ball was going to keep going. Then it just kind of kept going up I and thought, up. I thought it got a little more angle on it, and he hit it too high. Yep. He hit it hard enough, for sure, to put oh, it Oh, yeah, down, absolutely. But bad angle on it. Up to bat next, we got Danny Marquez. Danny's one for three on the day. Looking for his second hit. And to keep this game alive, here's the pitch. Danny buckles on it, not giving the called strike. It was a nice looking pitch. It was looking nice. 1 0 count. Here's the pitch. Above his head this time. <laughs> Same pitch above his head, though. Now, that one didn't move as much. Not as much. Very flat. Probably a bit higher. 2 0 count. Pitcher's moving really quickly. He gets set and goes. And here's the 2 0 pitch. Called strike in the outside corner. He's trying to get in a groove here. Yep. He could probably just keep throwing to that spot. Yep. Umpires love that spot. He's been on it. 2 1 pitch. Ooh. Off speed starts it inside. Didn't quite cut back. It nearly hits Danny. Almost hit him. 3-1 count. This is our hitter's count. Hitter's count right here. Seen one in a minute, actually. We've had yeah. a lot of two strike hits. And here it comes. Above his head. There it is. That's big right there. Ball four. Big chance for the Lions. I would wager to guess that there's going to be a pinch runner for Danny. Yep. Because Danny's been not all keen on running recently. And with this being above the ninth, we can I'm sure they're going to try to put some in. speedsters in there. I'm sure they will. Who we got over there, actually? I can't tell. Was that number 27? That looks like Cameron Fuque, one of our pitchers. <laughs> it is Cameron Fuque. <laughs> Not the guy I expected. Hey, pitchers are athletes too, man. They can <laughs> they can book it on the on the bases. He just had surgery on his left arm. Too. Yeah. And he's already back in the action. We like it. Can't stay away from the game. It's only been like a month since the surgery. Just over. Can't stay away. We got a meeting at the mound from the catcher. Trying to calm down the pitcher, probably decide on what they're going to do next. We got a lefty righty matchup at the plate with Bradley Prince coming up to bat. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a couple of walks. His fifth plate appearance of the day. Pitcher and catcher are ready to go. Umpire getting back to his spot. Pitcher getting a sign, glances at first. And here comes the pitch. Hard hit ball to the right side through past Ooh. the first oh. baseman. Cam falls on the way to second, and he is going to get cut off right there. <laughs> That's a. <laughs> Tripped over his shoelace or something out there. Like I said, not the guy expected. To <laughs> yeah, that's run. not what we expected. <laughs> <laughs> I would argue Danny might be at third base right now. <laughs> He's not going to live that one down for nope. a while. That was that was kind of funny, even though it was a bad situation. <laughs> bad timing, but it was funny. Bad I mean, timing. I wish it would be a blowout game for that to happen. It'd be a lot happen. funnier. He's not living that one down for a little <laughs> while. It'd be a lot easier to live down if he scores. Exactly. We got Tyler Cullen up to bat, top of the line order. He's one for four. Ball outside in the dirt. Gets past the catcher. He might make it to third. He might make it to third if he doesn't trip. <laughs> he stays up this time. Taking a pretty decent lead over at second base. Hopefully he didn't re-injure the shoulder when he fell. I hope not. It was his elbow, actually. His elbow. And here's the 1-0 pitch. Swing and a miss in the dirt. Does it go? Cam's going to second. Both runners move up bases, and it is second and third, two outs. Go ahead and run at second base right now. That was a late 
jump. That I was very ca- late. I thought I, he was going to go for it. I thought the catcher was going to pick it up and throw. He had a chance. He did. I Maybe that ball was kicked a little too far for the catcher, but. Might have been. Or he just, by the time he got to it, he figured there was no chance. There's no chance. He didn't want to overthrow him, have him score. Yeah. There's two outs. 1-1 one, one count. Tyler Cullen at the plate. Runners at second and third. The tying run at third base. Big situation. And that is Bryson Lofton up to bat or on deck. Called strike two. We've seen what uh, Collins does with the two strike approach too. He puts it back side, so we'll see what he does here. Hopefully the same thing. One, two count. Important pitch right here. Here it comes. Up and outside, 2-2 two, two count. Dugout that, getting loud. That was the umpire spot if it was a little bit lower. If it was low, he, that would have been probably a ring up. Yep. But he should know that by now. I expect he tried I'm to I'm sure they out. know by now. At this point in the game with two strikes, you got to make contact with Yep. 2-2 two, two count. Pitcher getting a sign, taking his time. He stepped back. Give himself a little moment. Stare down between the batter and pitcher, it looks like. 2-2 two, two count. Gets his sign, and here it comes. Pop fly up to shallow right field. Not even shallow right field. Infield fly. And that will end the game. Really exciting game altogether. Very exciting game, but not what we're looking for. Not what we it. wanted. Lots of ups and downs, score changes, back and forth. Started coming alive the uh, second half of the game, but just couldn't couldn't keep it going. But that'll be it. Ten to nine. That'll go to uh, Lindsey Wilson, and we'll be back into this week. It won't be here actually. It'll be the away team doing the uh, live stream. But the Lions play again, I believe, on Thursday. But that'll be it for today on the it was ten to nine ball game on the Brian Lions Radio Network.